Hello, everyone. Wow, you guys are really ready for this. <laughs> there you go. You guys, that's perfect. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Uh, oh, they can't hear you because, because I, uh, something, something messed, messed up. up. I was like, I was like hold, hold on, on one second. second. <laughs> oh, Gucci. There we go. Now they can hear you. Hello. Yay. I'm getting all the stuff, you know, all the technical oh, issues out right now. What's going on, everyone? Yeah, you guys are definitely ready for this. As I, you know, excited as to be here. Excited <laughs> to be here. Absolutely. <laughs> No idea what's going on. Excited to be here, though. Great. No one, really, <laughs> no one truly knows what goes on in my uh, one shots, and that's a good thing. It lets me like keep the element of surprise. Because and we it, like to bring the element of chaos. Yes, this, <laughs> this, is, this seems to be is going to be a very chaotic stream. But yeah, <laughs> welcome on everyone. Today is the day that I have promised for like four months now. It's finally happening. We're doing the one shot. It's the return of the Mummy Lord. And I have new players who are going to introduce themselves uh, very soon. <laughs> but uh, if you guys were watching at the beginning, and I just realized I put the wrong. No, that's the right one. I said, I thought I had messed up one of the usernames. Um, if you guys were looking at the beginning, there are incentives for donations. Um, we which we can go back here real quick. I don't know if my mic's going to pick up. Will it pick up? It will pick up. If we go back, there are incentives for this all right there. Also, one gifted sub is a spin on the wheel. And the wheel, it has some very interesting stuff on it that could help or hinder the uh, party. Mostly hinder. I did put a lot of negatives up there. I did try to balance it with uh, positives, um, but there are some stuff there. Just Pre not. Subscription received. Apparently, you are doing something right, Captain. Hey, thank you for that resub. With the bed head. <laughs> thank you, bed. Already, yeah. already tried to it, start us off bad. It, that was not. That was not. That wasn't a gifted. That was a resub. Uh oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to be like this motherfucker. Oh, so I need some gifted subs to start. No, no, she did. I was already bad yes, enough. I go <laughs> staring at Nico with that. With that, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> but yeah. There's some uh, there's some good stuff up there. There's some. Code yellow. <laughs> well, there's five get the subs there right there, so we're doing five. <laughs> so we're, gonna do, we're doing oh five spins at, after you guys oh introduce yourselves, I guess. Oh before, my God. Is, even before the game starts, there's five <laughs> spins. Thank you, Foxy, Jesus. for the get the subs. To Uncle A Wall, milk goes back. Milk goes before cereal. Uh, Barber. <laughs> Green and haunted dead. Vague just gave a gift to sub. Vague, you monster. <laughs> you monster. Watch, watch. It's gonna be the fucking thing for me that fucks Dingo, us up. thank you for the resub. Listen, they don't call it one shot for nothing. <laughs> I get. Oh my god, we're not even starting. <laughs> <Dingo. laughs> thank you for the gift to subs. That's another five. Holy <laughs> <laughs> shit. What? What happened? Oh, my hand slipped. What God. happened? You started a hype train and we're not even started into the campaign yet. How many, how many uh -huh. rolls do I have? I think that's 10 spins. God damn it, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, fuck let me, let me, let me, this is five, six. There's a, oh, there's a bunch of spins, spins out there. Cause I get 11. One. 11 spins. All right, well. Because oh, I also resubbed. Oh, uh, that's uh, well, a resub. That's resubs Smiley. do not count. I made sure because oh, I know there's a I bunch of people who are resubbing soon. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, so before I do the spins of Doom, I'm just calling it now, uh, let's introduce our characters <laughs> and our players today. Uh, let's start with 
Nico, since you just gave five gifted. Uh, but, uh, what, I? <laughs> Hold on. The floor no, is no, yours, no, no, Nico. No, no, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no. yes. Bring the chaos. What do you? Yeah. What would you like me to say? I don't know. Introduce yourself and the character you're playing. Well, hi, I'm Nico Kitten Fox and Nico. I am I am Bulldog's absolute bratty ass pet. IRL. Um, and there's online. No, yeah, everywhere. There's no line no that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, I, I'm also one of uh, one of like at least I hope I'm one of his besties. But you know. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> and then I am. Um, my character's name is Micah, and she is a level ten female goblin. Um, uh, but she is a monk rogue. Ah, ha ha ha. <laughs> We're not gonna worry about that part of it. But yeah. <clears throat> All right. Who would like to go next? <laughs> Before I volunteer. <laughs> Great, <go>. Bedhead. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Great, Bedhead. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bedhead Hero. And uh, my character that I'm playing today, his name is Joe. He is a paladin rogue. And the reason I am playing that is for the gesture role. Is I am a master of dad jokes, and I oh will be playing God, he the has a voice. savior <laughs> to defend my allies and to make great comedy while doing so. <laughs> yeah. I should have put the instant kill on the roll on those wheels <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm Instantly joking. thrown under the bus. <laughs> reroll immediate reroll. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, who would like to go? We got we got two more people who would like to go next, and then we're doing our spins. I got eleven spins. That's <laughs> why before I even before I even like in, like introduced us like the the background. <laughs> I got eleven spins. I gotta do. <laughs> I guess I'll go then. Yep. I'm vaguely erotic subtitles. I have a female. Monty Pure Blood, and my background is, yeah, let's just say there's a lot of background, and uh, I may or may not run off and leave everyone to die. I mean, at least he's honest. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> and don't mind all of the necklaces I'm wearing. Bring them for a reason. Once again, right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, and last but certainly not least. Hello, I'm I'm a Sozeru. Uh I am playing a protector Azamar Druid at the Circle of Moon. I am cursed in my owlbear form, and uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go into why. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Very interesting group of players here. Nothing could definitely go wrong in this campaign. Nothing at all. But first. Let's let's spin the wheel. Uh, I could hate every second of that wheel. Oh, you absolutely <laughs> are. Uh, <laughs> let me bring it up on stream so everyone can see it on the stream. There's the spin. I'll even share it for you guys to see the wheel as well. Oh god, <laughs> we get tormented while we get to look at the torment that's about to be placed upon <laughs> us. <laughs> so here's the here's what I am calling the wheel of chaos now. There are many things. There is a 1% chance that something interesting will happen. 1%. Also, thank you for the high trade matter one. That was a level 3, goddamn. Um, but yeah, here we go. First spin. I'm going to laugh if the first one's the 1%. A random player is cursed. Oh my god! <laughs> and before it's me, already cursed, Lavelle! <laughs> so we'll have to figure out that who the random players who cursed. I'm gonna need to write all this stuff down, aren't I? I was gonna say, she just roll a d4 and you're good to go. Yeah, hold on. I need to get a notepad so I can just yeah, like, well, alright. Hold on, I can, I can notepad things. Yeah, so first one, random person, random player cursed. Okay, got Ooh. it. Alright. Next one. Your player 
there someone's a creature. Oh boy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I also didn't play it as good or bad creature. It's just player summoner creature. Remember that one thing that I was talking to you about? Oh, <laughs> no! That I was talking Stop. to you about, oh, Stop! Cease and desist! Yeah, you think I'm fucking stupid now? Huh? All you right. know what? I'm gonna I'm keep my goblin ass mouth shut. Third you roll. better. I was really looking at that. The one item that lets you, like, tame stuff or become friendly with certain... Uh-huh! Yeah! 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 Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh no! As an NPC, including full scenery. This is just this. This sucks for me because I had to do the voice. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to. You could ask one of us to do it if you feel like it. Probably good. You guys, you guys get to pick the NPC, the celebrity you want the NPC to be. So Lily. no. <laughs> All right. So that's that was four. Yep. yep. All right. Fifth okay. one. Wait, no, that was the fourth. Nope. Yeah, so this is the fifth one right here. Fifth, the this fifth is the fourth. Spin. Oh, is this the fourth? Oh. This is the fourth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, okay. Two, Two players, players cursed. cursed. <laughs> oh, well, at this point, all of us are going to be cursed. Oh, well, good thing what are you, what are you gonna curse then? What are you going to curse the guy who's already cursed with? Because if I'm not mistaken, curses don't stack, right? I don't think they do, but we'll figure something out. Rip, we'll this sucks for all of you. Probably <laughs> spin, probably. Uh, Wait, do I have? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm glad I picked that. <laughs> hey, a good one. <laughs> Friend of players, blessed. Okay. I should put hashtag blessed on that one. <laughs> hashtag blessed. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Next one. How many? How many spins is that? That was five. You're five. on your sixth one. Cool. Halfway through. We're only halfway there. Actually, it's 11, remember? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Living on well, a technically, prayer. the sixth roll is the halfway yes! point. Let's go emotional, <laughs> emotional support elk. I'm ready. Oh, my Give God. me a fucking dragon! No. Please. No. Fine, give me another fucking owlbear. I. Mm hmm. That's all. Give me the dragon. <laughs> Two. two random players are blessed. <laughs> two okay, blessed. so what happens? What happens if if Oso gets or if yeah if Oso gets Oso, blessed? If Oso. I get one of the blesses, oh my god, I'm cured. I no longer have to be stuck in my owlbear <laughs> form. No, no. <laughs> we'll see. We'll he will see. kill. Okay, you know what? That hundred dollar donation is coming a lot faster. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> this shit. <laughs> I don't get to cut all the other. There's a third there. curse. There's a third curse. <laughs> That's the whole crew. Everyone is cursed. <laughs> well, two of them right? get out of that curse. Yeah, but then, yeah, but then so two bad. of them get out of it again. Yeah. Watch it be also back to being cursed. <laughs> You can't stack uh, curses, so if I get no, if I get if the flex, then it's whatever it's whatever bulldog wants to bless me with. Yeah. So that's the thing. Oh, that's true. Party is full healed. Can we can we reserve that? Yeah, like, sure. Can we reserve we, that? I'll, yeah, okay. I will let you reserve. Okay. I will let you reserve that one. Can we call that for a different time? <laughs> so you just have a full a full heal on your in your back pocket sometime. Okay. How many spins is that? I think I need like two more or one more. Uh, like three curses, two ble uh, two blesses, two summons. Um, healed was the last one. That would be uh, I'm sorry. Eight, nine. So nine. Yeah, we're on, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're on, we're on on spin ten. Cool. Oh. So two more. I was just looking at something. My bad. My bad. No, you're fine. I've been I've been writing these down on my parchment paper. <laughs> <laughs> Three blesses now. <laughs> Looks like the majority of the party is getting blessed. And final spin. Oh, almost on that one percent. There we go. <laughs> Three oh. creatures. <laughs> Three creatures. <laughs> <laughs> so, so was that ten or eleven? That was eleven there. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> so do we want to? How do we want to handle these curses, Chief? So I need to get I need to get a D four out. Holy shit! 
because I mean, you guys, some of you do still have a chance of not getting cursed if like one of the curses lands on me, one of you is scot free. And before they all land on me. <laughs> um, well, do you want me to send this? I'm going to send this through. Yeah, can you please send it? Yep, there we go. Alright, so I have a D4 here. Oh my I god. It is. Uh, thank you for all the generosity, everyone. Uh, in this, cha- this, is, this might be more chaotic than the anime high school fighting tournament you one shot I did. Hey, and that's, no. <laughs> and that's, that's saying something. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Okay. All right. First, just let's do curses first. That seems fair. Okay. So let's see. Vague one. Os two. Uh, Bedhead three. And Nico is four. All right. First one is Nico. You're. <laughs> So Nico gets the first curse. Uh, we're going to summon a random creature. I, I got to bring this up now. God damn. <laughs> oh, man. So wait, Nico got cursed? <laughs> yeah, Nico's cursed. Oh, we're rolling on a curse chart now. Yep, we got rolling the curse chart, and I need to roll on the uh one, the random creature as well. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> that that makes a lot of sense. Okay, I got the random creature. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Uh, you guys got to decide what the the celebrity is gonna be. Obviously, the correct answer is Nick Cage. Absolutely. Okay. okay. The Rock! The Rock! (laughs) Oh, no. Absolutely. My ass was going to say Morgan Freeman, but that's me. There you go. I can smell you. I can Uh, smell you. (laughs) Great. Why are you doing Morgan Freeman then? All right. uh... It was on this day. That the team found themselves before the NPC, selling them nothing but drugs. Morgan Freeman. There you go. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, and, and the NPC. Great. Morgan Freeman. Uh, another player is going to be cursed. Please don't make it an important NPC. That's all I ask you guys. It's, it's not. his story uh, to tell. But, hey, you are cursed. Great. <laughs> Uh, random Does player is something for this. You probably, I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, so wait, Bedhead and Nico are cursed. Yeah, I'm writing it down. Uh, bless, nice. random bless player. I swear, if it's Oso, I fucking hate it here. <laughs> Oso, you're uh, you're blessed. You're no longer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, second creature. I can't. I hope this creature fucking eats your ass. Uh, do you guys want to fight these creatures all at once? Um, by the way, die? Bull, are we supposed to be able to see your screen? Because we can see that. Uh, Don't you do it, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, I know. You're seeing the monsters that I'm generating right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, oh. oh. Okay. All right. Yeah, the next ones the are. Dust muffin. Oh, don't worry about it. The next ones are going to be uh, private. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got two more blessed. Uh, yeah. Vig, you're blessed. Fuck, are you serious? Hashtag blessed. Let's go. I swear, I, swear, I swear these two better come. Wait, can you get double blessed? Well, we'll find uh, out. You stop? Yeah. Hey, hey, also, yeah. you're also blessed. No, again. <laughs> I got both. I got two blessings. Let's go. I hate it here. The question is: Do you want me to roll on the bless chart, or do you want to roll it for me? You're gonna. You're probably gonna roll on the bless chart on this one. Okay. Fucking send me the link, chief, and I'll make the roll in D and D Beyond for everyone to see. Yeah. We'll roll roll for me and surprise me. Yeah. Same. Okay. One more blessed. Right. So between me and Bedhead, I hope. 
Right. If they gets um, fucking chosen, I swear to God. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm already cursed, but yeah, we're both I'm cursed. Looking but through this right we're... now, I'm trying to figure out if there was something that I had that protects me from curses, but I can't seem to find anything. So I might be screwed. I, mean, uh, right, I was already cursed to begin with. So that's vague. <laughs> Oh my god, we have literally double blessed people. Half the fucking team. Half the fucking. Oh, I can't do it. Half, half, the, team, half the team is cursed. Half the team is blessed. Blessed as fuck. Huh? No, correction. Correction. The majority of the team is cursed. And only half the team is blessed. Oh my god. You know what? I'll leave it up to you, Bulldog, for my blessings. Where's yeah, my so I'm, I'm going to roll. Don't you dare. I'm going to roll. There it is. Let's roll the curses first. Uh, I'm going to roll a D100 real quick. <laughs> there's a hundred curses. This is always great. Uh, God, you better not get the one of instant death. Am I supposed to be on a different page other than my, my character page, by the way? Watch that. Uh, no, you're fine. Me. You can be on your character page. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I'll do this right here. and Roll 20 so I can just get the dice. Uh, so, uh, Nico, you're the first curse. Yep. Twenty-five. I will send this to you, and uh, you'll see. <laughs> this will this will be a secret curse to you. Okay. Oh, baby, raining, raining. So just do, uh, don't worry about the first part, actually. You just want, I'm going to just do that. There you go. Okay. Uh, Bedhead, you're cursed. 13. When does this happen, Double? Whenever I say it does. <laughs> I got it. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Okay. Is is Nico infected by the uh, fungus from The Last of Us? Are we just gonna get fucking murked? No. Is she turning into a clicker? <laughs> she, she, she's a clicker. Open fire. Open fire. All right. Bad oh head. no! Where's... I wanted that number. What the hell? Damn, bedhead. Jesus. All right, bedhead. You got thirteen, and I said to you, what I don't is. know what. Oh, okay. I just said to you. I'll be right back. Yep. I'm stepping away for like a quick second. <gasps> uh, all right. So let's do oh, it's just blessing first. 48. Let's see. So you just send it to me. And <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Um, I came back. Welcome back. Did miss anything? Uh, give me mm -hmm. this. Yeah, of course. I don't know. If this is a, the blesses. I don't know if this oh, is the blessings. A, I don't know if this yeah. is a blessing for you, but you know, we'll find out. <sighs> it, it, it's a boob job, isn't it? The owlbear is going to have boobs. <laughs> I mean, I'm, for my racial, sure. <laughs> for the racial factor, absolutely. <laughs> I hate it here. I'm assuming that's going to be um, radiant, right? Yeah. The the damage type. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Do, 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 do. There, I'll just do that. Did we did it cut off? Because it goes. Oh, is that? Or is it just saying every turn? Okay. Every turn, yeah, just every turn. For two hours. Oh god. All right, and oh, vague god. here is your blessing. Oh my fucking lord. 
Where are you dropping uh, it at? Oh, uh, your DMs. There you go. Okay. Cool. Well, that just happened. <laughs> Wait, didn't I get two blesses? You technically did get two blesses. Hold on. Unless you, you want to stay at Albert. I, I mean, if it's a chance roll for me to not be, but go for it. Otherwise. <clears throat> so what? 50% chance you uh, not become an owlbear. 50% chance you become a double owlbear. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got your second one here. Yeah. Because. All right. <laughs> Okay. That's pretty that's actually savage. <laughs> I like that. That's that's so, savage. Uh some people uh got very lucky. <laughs> some people uh did not. I that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but Absolutely yeah. Shafted. After after all that, let us uh let's let's start at the beginning. Um before we meet our characters, um, let's see what let's let's talk about what happened before to lead you guys to where you are going. About a week ago, a bunch of archaeologists have uncovered the tomb of Amotet, um, who was the was considered the last pharaoh of this area. Uh, no one knows why the that part of history is kind of lost, uh, but they found there's his tomb. While searching through it, though, uh, two of the archaeologists fell into a deep pit and were not able to be rescued. Uh, the, archae the other archaeologists were also somehow chased out by some creature, they said, uh, and ran to the nearest town and have been asking adventurers to help the two uh, archaeologists that are trapped and uh, bring back it. If they are alive, or if not, to bring back the uh, research they were doing. So, there's been a huge line at the tavern. Um, every adventurer has tried their best to go out there. And a bunch have come back either uh, scared witless or dead. But not you four. You have been waiting your turn, biting your tongue for a chance at this job. Because you feel like you... You're the ones that could save these people. Or, you know, take whatever's in the tomb. You know, you are adventurers. You get to decide what your path is. So, I would say you guys are at the local tavern. That's every great D&D one-shot starts. Thank you, Nerdy, for the Titanic flute. <laughs> um... You guys are singing the tavern, you know, the last, you saw the last of the uh, adventurers go out about a day ago. Usually takes another day before the archaeologists come back saying they're looking for um, for the next group of adventurers to go out. What are you guys doing at this tavern right now? Before you, uh, before I describe what's about to happen. I'm guys, drunk. Oh, Okay. Absolutely drunk. <laughs> uh, I'm probably getting confused for a fucking mule. <laughs> I'm sitting on the counter, already okay. fucking on my third ass drink. Okay. I'm sitting in the back of the room having a drink. All right. Love how everyone else is drinking and I'm getting confused for a fucking mule. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I believe the bartender is, uh, you know, doing the whole, the, you know, wiping out the glass with the one rag, just like waiting for, you know, someone to order something. You know what? We're going to say it's Morgan Freeman. Why not? So we need to use him now. <laughs> <laughs> so Morgan Freeman is cleaning the glass. Uh, you know, you guys are, you know, yeah, most of you are drinking, getting drunk. Like, There's one just confused, like just getting confused for some for a pack meal. Um, Morgan Freeman looks up, the door opens, and you see the two archaeologists that um, that have been coming for the past couple of days looking for adventurers. And it's like, well, now it looks like the next uh, adventurers are up, and he like looks at all of you, <laughs> drunk off their uh, their asses. <laughs> well, maybe not you. 
But yeah, the garage come up. They get on their soapbox like they usually do. It's like, all right, greetings, everyone again. I know. I right, keep coming back here. You would think we've we've rescued all these people, but apparently not. But we still need adventurers to save our companions. Who's up to do it? Uh, no, oh. don't you know, rush up all you know too fast. You know, we're we're here. You know, take your time. I, I volunteer the Albert. The, the owl bear. Yeah. Uh, okay. He's gonna turn over and look towards the direction where I hear this conversation, and just kind of like squint my eyes and give a quick nip of my beak. Uh, uh can, can I, you, I second. I second that. The owl bear should definitely go. Uh, uh, can the the owl bear? Uh, it can't understand us. Absolutely. We'll walk, anything, walk up, and then anything, he'll just draw. And anything to get that shit out of the fucking bar. Out of the oh, tavern. But, yeah, uh, that's fine. Oh, well, well, that's they said yes. discriminatory. How dare you, Barkeep? Don't insult our owlbear. Uh, you just call me Barbie? Oh, Absolutely. I don't think it's the Barkeep. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the archaeologists. <laughs> oh no, sorry, Barkeep. Excuse me, archaeologist. How dare you insult our owlbear? You know I was going to say, I've been serving you drinks all night. On the owlbear now. It's going to... It's just going to look at you very questionably and lightly cock his head. And it's going to walk up to the archaeologist and uh, like open one claw and like, you know, motion for like a pin and pad of some kind. Uh... Uh oh, oh yeah, yes, and he like goes in his backpack, puts it down, like fiddles around. Uh, no, here you go, and brings out like a, a like a like a notebook and a uh, a pen. And he'll struggle with like his first two talents, and he'll just write on the paper. I can understand everyone just fine. Thank you. I will oh. be happily. I will be happy to assist. <laughs> oh, oh, I oh I am terribly sorry. I did not know you you. Well, now, uh, there's three of you, and usually four show up. There's a fourth person out there willing to join them. Uh, Joe would grab his sword next to him. Okay. Mace, sorry. Mace. Grab his mace <laughs> well, next you're, you're to him. You're drunk, so you're like, I'm ready for this. You, like, grab someone's sword. You're like, hey, man, that's my sword. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is this as I finish my drink? <laughs> this is not my weapon. I shall partake in this adventure. <laughs> that oh god. Entertaining, to say the least. And I'm oh, sure this... there's a few bag of jokes in here to tell. <laughs> oh god, I need more beer for this. G- great. It looks like we have enough people to save our friends, right? Yes, yes, very much. Very good. Okay, well, you are, uh, you're, you can leave whenever you're ready. Uh, we will give you a map to where you're going, um, and to the entrance of the tomb. Um, be careful, though. Uh, the last couple of adventures to go, we have either, uh, come back scared out of the mines or dead. Don't know what happened. Uh, how did they come back dead? Like, were they zombies or mummies or what's going on here? We need some more information. Well, well, all we know is most of them were missing their heads. Hold uh, on. Are you willing to pay more if we kill the other adventurers who died? Uh, uh, hold on. First of all, Micah walks over to this uh, archaeologist. Hey, archaeologist. Y- yes? Are you good? Do you need a beer? I, I, you I, sound I, very flustered. Do you need a I, moment to breathe? I, mm, I don't mm, partake. You know what? Sure. Uh, no, uh, it's your shin. Do you want a beer? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Here, take mine. Thank it's coming you. out of your tab. <laughs> <laughs> so, we need to kill things. I'm done for that. There, there are probably things you have to kill in there. Yes, yes, there are very possibly things you need to kill. Um, I, I, you're right. Very dangerous. How about this? Whatever treasure is in the tomb, you have to find. 
you can have. The owlbear is just going to roll its eyes and just start waddling outside. <laughs> I, I believe he's ready to go. I think. I'm not sure. I, I'm going to say he is. Before Does he anybody leaves. have a leash for this owlbear? <laughs> <laughs> Michael looks over. I mean, I'm just saying. Do we need a leash for it? Uh, I think he's going to be fine. <laughs> okay. I, just, I don't know. <laughs> Who's better is that? Or keeps just gonna look on all of you like wasn't mine. <laughs> barkeep Joe's just gonna the road. Yeah, <laughs> Joe's gonna walk up, up to the barkeep. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, another one for the road, please. <laughs> I can smell it on your breath, boy. I don't even need no more. <laughs> oh, that sounds like put, a put everything on Joe's tab too, barkeep. <laughs> Yeah, what everything's on Joe's tab. <laughs> wow! <laughs> what a great set of companions. <laughs> You're in luck, because I think the owlbear beat y'all to it. <laughs> Where does the <laughs> owlbear keep the money? Owlbear doesn't have pockets. Yo. Uh, so I'm pulling out a bag. It looked like a bag of holding. Gotcha. I was really hoping you weren't going to say nature's pocket. <laughs> oh, that, that too, but I don't know. You, you know, I'm gonna roll these days, something. you youngsters in your pockets. I'm going to roll something real quick for the first uh, encounter of your southern <laughs> creatures. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> and then, you know, bar- 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 keep will pull up all the ale that you all asked for and put it into like little little skin sacks for you. Hand it over. Uh, the archaeologist is like, all right, uh, well, good luck to you. And uh, I'm a... Uh, uh, I'm going to go lay down. And he's like, he just like goes off. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you guys are good. We're given... Well, he gives you a map first. And he says, you go... And basically, they explain to you, it's like, yes, the tomb is about two days to the southwest just follow uh follow the road because there's kind of like a path that's been carved into the sands um once you get to a certain part though you take the left and you'll see the tombs about an hour away uh any questions i'm good are you telling me you're not coming with us archaeologist Oh uh, no 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 no! We will check on you in a day, a couple of days or so, to see if you're still alive at the tomb. But we we dare not go back. Well, actually, I, I do have a question now. Yes. What language did you hear from any ghost, demons, and/or mummies in this tomb? Uh it was a language I dare not say again. I. Only have heard it a couple of times in my life, and every time I've heard it, it's it's never been good. I heard the I heard the language of the dead in there. Ah, uh, yes, the black speech of the dead. I know oh, okay. much of it. Well then, no better way to die. Y'all, you y'all ready? Can we hear a ever. light screech outside <laughs> the elbow. <laughs> I also updated my life insurance, so I'm ready to roll. <laughs> oh yeah, you did get a letter. You did get a letter from your uh, life insurance policy. He's like, uh, yes, um, your life insurance has been updated. Uh, we all we do ask that for the next 24, 24 days, you do not get any fights with any lich lords, um, mummy lords, anything lord related, just in case. <laughs> Me at, this point, look. At, at this point, I think Joe is starting to stumble out of the tavern after asking for his beer to go in a bucket and is now wearing the other bucket on his head. <laughs> stumbling out of the tavern. Mm-hmm. Micah steps out with the, with the jester. 
Tops him on the fucking helmet. Yo, you're sharing that, right? Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's go. All right. So, you guys are heading out into the sands, following the road that they said was carved there for you. Uh, it's going to take a couple of days, uh, which is good, because we need to get your first encounter done. <laughs> oh, boy. Yikes. <laughs> so, you're going to have to, you know, because there's a couple of days, there are going to be days you're going to have, like, a couple of nights you have to stay out in the desert. Um, as you guys are um, out in the desert, you start to hear the wails and moans of someone in agony and pain. Uh, I. Does anybody else hear that? It's not just the voices in my head talking, right? <laughs> it's a trap. It has to be a trap. Everything out here is dead. Right? Okay. V- Vig, I'm not going crazy here. Like, you can hear that? I can hear it. It continues You're 100% to get sane. It continues to get louder. Uh, uh, okay. Joe? Uh, Albert, you y'all, y'all good? Like, you guys hear this? Are you guys ready for Joe a fight? Joe still trying to sober up. <laughs> I, oh, I, boy, I, throw my, I throw a half-eaten grilled cheese at Joe. <laughs> Wake up. Oh, yes. Yeah, so uh, get eaten alive while you're sleeping on my watch. Uh, uh, Michael walks thank you for the Albert. grilled cheese companion. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, that that owlbear is gonna walk over to the grilled cheese, lightly touch it, and just cast mending on it, so it's a whole grilled cheese now. There you go. <laughs> that just yes, happened, I do yeah. hear something getting closer I... to us. <laughs> okay. Stares, <laughs> stares at you guys. <laughs> Ready. Yeah. The outburst is just gonna sit there for a moment, watching the rest of you, just like. All right. Uh, can everyone give me a perception check? So on your character sheets, you should see uh somewhere on your uh, sheet say perception. I just want you to roll that real quick. Let's see what everyone gets. Uh, where would that be? Uh, kind of in the middle. Kind of in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. So it's towards the bottom. It'll be a plus plus number that you just click on, and it'll automatically roll for you. Yep. Oh, perception plus. Okay. Yep. Just click on the plus. I forgot to turn on (gasps) hardware acceleration. Yeah. Well, definitely. If you don't, it will (laughs) crash your. I got a twenty. Twenty plus four. Nice. I am stupid. I mean, my passive perception seventeen. So, okay. So everyone except <laughs> Nico's character uh, yeah, be- begins to see what looks to be something shambling uh, towards you, like a humanoid figure shambling towards you. Oh boy! Does anybody else see what's approaching us? Now, Bear's immediately going to spring into action and jump in front of everyone and screech out at it. <laughs> What is going on? Why is why is Albert fucking going crazy? What's happening? I don't huh? Uh you see Did you forget again, your glasses at home? Wow. <laughs> I <laughs> First off, I don't have glasses, you absolute prick. Uh, oh, fight you. You basically uh after a while, you hear you see the fig- human figure. Uh, it looks to be uh, someone, uh, basically like if we're thinking like ancient Egyptian of uh, the of the wear they were wearing. Uh, you can see straight through his body as his skin has been decayed off. You can see his rib uh-huh. chest. Um, his eyes are a glowing blue flame instead of the, uh, the regular eyes, um, and he's holding a sword in one hand. Uh, and the other arm is actually missing. It's completely fawned off. 
uh, and he's shambling towards you saying, Beware the mummy's curse. Um, the the owl bear is gonna probably <clears throat> just kind of look back at everyone else, like the fuck. I nudge the owl bear forward and say, "You got this, big buddy." Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> look at you. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> just be like, "The fuck do you mean I've got this?" I, I, al- I also quickly open my portfolio and slide Nico a business card for uh, 50% off eyeglasses and a free eye exam. Um, <laughs> first off, Micah hits you. Um, Second of all, what, do you guys see what the fuck is right in front of us? Is, am I just seeing this now? Wait. What is that? <laughs> um, yep. Is, so the, 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 the owlbear is on, on point, correct? Yes. Okay, so the owlbear is on point. And we now know that it's uh, of a ghostly like figure. Is that yeah, is it like a, mummified ghostly like figure? Not a mummified ghostly like figure. I'm gonna put a token on the on the thing so you can see what it looks like. So uh, we're assuming at this point that well, huh. Joe would be assuming at this point that whatever is a, a, approaching is uh, oh Jesus is okay. evil at this point. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, technical question: How would I uh, go about um, using one of my spells that I would like to cast? You could just tell me what spell you want to cast. Um, I would like to cast uh, protection from evil and good. Okay. So yeah, you um, you reach out with your divine sense, notice that this is evil, and you cast protection of uh, good and evil. Yes, and I believe uh, this is uh, something I can use to protect yep. uh, someone f- with, f- correct? Yes. You think? Okay, so I would want to cast it on our owlbear. Okay, so you can cast it on the owlbear? Yes. So the owlbear now has protection of good and evil, if I remember correctly. Uh, if the creature attacks you, they need to make a will save to see if it hits. If they hit or not. Yeah. Uh, they have, they have disadvantage. They have disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage, I believe, is what it is. Yeah, um, they have disadvantage on the attack. Nice. After he casts that, I'll go ahead and cast Entangle. Okay, so you're going to cast Entangle on the uh, wife. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, I will roll its uh, save. Uh, 15 strength. That's what the what it has to pass. Okay. Let me get us this up. So you guys are just like, it's like, oh shit, he's coming. It's like, stop him. <laughs> All right. And I believe mine uh, also uh, is a can. It's a. Oh, never mind. Yep. Uh, it fails. So it, it failed the the, the, uh, it the failed the entangle check. Okay, yep. so it's ensnared by desert vines and shit. Yep, it's just like it keeps it was moving towards you and it's sort of like pointing at you as it keeps saying, uh, "Beware of the mummy's curse." It stops. It's not like it's, stop, it's not stopping talking. It's still saying the same thing over and over, but it's completely stopped moving. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I ask it a question? Yes, you can. Uh, I say Kwa T Pensa Rx, which means uh, what do you want? Uh, it says back in your language, the mummy curse will destroy us all. Release, release him in the world. Okay. I am going to assume that this means he is dangerous. We should put him down. Huh. Say less. Okay, right, so we will do this. We'll roll some initiative. Oh boy. All right. Oh boy. So we're going to be doing our first combat. 
All right, so I believe, I think it's like on closer to the top of your character sheets, somewhere where it was, says like initiative. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> of course, my low roll of the day. All right, so you got initiative? Yep. I got an eight. You got it. Eight. Oh, got it. Um, Alberg. Oh my god. <laughs> got a five. <laughs> okay. And you know, for being a dexterous character, that's. It's horrid. That means you got a nat one because I think you have a plus four in your decks, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got a nat one. So, uh, yeah. uh, Behe, if you look right where your armor <sighs> class is, so about like the middle of your sheet, it says initiative and it's just like a plus to something. You're going to click yeah, that. Under yeah, plus under proficiency. Two. Oh, okay. Yep. You click okay. on the, the number. Mm-hmm. Um, I rolled a seven. Okay. Or, well, it's a five plus two. I have a seven. Seven okay. total. So, and, um, I think Vague rolled a 20. 21. Yeah, Vague did really well. <laughs> the 7 for Joe. Yeah. Why won't it let me really? There we go. Or, you know, Joe just doesn't have one. Okay. Sometimes, rule 20 is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Like that, where it won't let me. Th- okay. Uh, there you go. It <laughs> it's like my notepad is just like messed up, I think. Because I was I kept on hitting seven. It's like zero. I was like, that's not the number. <laughs> All right. And then the Wraith will roll. It's going to roll a. It rolled a 19. All right, Vague, what would you like to do? Uh, Eldritch Blast. Okay. Okay, thank you for the alert. Okay. All right, so you're going to Eldritch Blast of this Wraith. All right, roll your attack. All right, where do I click to do that? Uh, so on your, uh, on your spell Eldritch Blast. Okay. It should have a plus to it for the attack. For the range, yep. You want to hit that plus first. Okay. Fourteen. Let me check something real quick. Do 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 do. I believe a fourteen. How far are we from this thing? Uh, you, you, uh close as you want. I will say the minimum is going to be thirty feet. Bro, we're far. At least for fastball me. special. Albert, oh, fastball special. Uh, fourteen hits. Oh, God, let's go. <clears throat> what happened? What was the hit? Yep, fourteen. So vague, you hit. Let's go. I... And then you're gonna next thing you're gonna do is right next to the plus. It says like the damage. So it's like uh, I think it for you. It's like D uh one D ten. You're going to click that yep. for your damage. All right, here we go. Uh, seven. All right, so on your first attack, you did seven damage. Your your Elder's Blood reaches out and penetrates its, uh, its chest. You have one more Elder's Blast if you would like to do it. Because you All have right, two at this go. level. Uh, that's a crit. <laughs> yep, wow. that's a crit. Let's go. You're hoping. For I spent my life preparing for this. Yes, you did. <laughs> for 15 <laughs> damage. So the first one hits it in the chest. The next one's like you just see a giant hole appear, just like as it's like the elders like just tears right across, uh, up, uh, right through the wave. All right. Uh, it's his turn. It's uh, entangled, though. <laughs> it's still going to make that DC save. Yeah, it's going to make that DC save. Let me make sure there's nothing else I can do real quick. Because I, nope, ha- like, I don't think it has spells, per se. It does not have spells. Um, yeah, it's going to try to get out. It's DC 15. Mm-hmm. It misses by one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, it's your turn. 
Uh, it's, it's just starting to try to hack at, uh, out of this right now. It's trying to hack out of the the the, the entire yeah the entire. <coughs> I'll uh, I'll use poison spray. Uh, okay. Constitution DC of fifteen. All right. And I'll just roll damage right now. So that's a sixteen. So if it, uh, it fails, fails, it takes the full. It takes the full sixteen poison. Okay. It will take sixteen as it mm. enters its already decaying lungs. Uh, and then as I think, hold on, let me see. Is this a nope? That's an action. To, wait, hold on. Did I take? I took Warcaster, didn't I? I believe you did. I believe a couple of you took Warcaster, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and that's not what I want. Um, to see, okay, Warcaster is. Warcaster is a shit. A lot of my casters. Um, are... Oh, that's only during reaction. Okay. I just want to double check to make sure that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, that is my turn. Okay. Joe, the creature is still staying, but barely. What do you want to do? Um. Let's see how, let's see, well, I would have had been fairly close to the owlbear. Yep. How, how, how far away is it been the, the, I think the from the owlbear? The owlbear is probably the closest one, so I'm, like, I'm going to say the owlbear is about 15 feet from it. Okay. Because the furthest my range attack would reach, or my, my main melee weapon would reach is 5 feet. Yeah, you have, you have to be basically have, stay next to it, yeah. I have a walking speed of 30 feet? Yes, you do. I don't know if that... Okay, so I would... Since that would be considered walking towards the target to attack it then. Yes. And then you, I would want to use my uh, my Mace of Warning attack. Yep. So, yep. Yeah, so you walk up to it, and you see the, the, rate, the wife, like, look at you with, you know, those... Glowing blue flame eyes, them saying, "Gay, beware the curse," and you're gonna swing down on it. Okay, I would first take a drink of my beer to go. Okay, and then <laughs> I'll let you do. And now I'm going to. <laughs> and then I'm going to to swing. So, what do I hit for the? So all your mace. Yes, yeah, so all your mace. There should be uh, a plus next to it. So I said like plus something, yep. like plus nine, plus whatever. Click on that. Okay, and then click on that. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, 14 hits. <laughs> nice. And then you're going to hit the next one next to it. So it's like, it's like it should say 1D the, the something. Damage. Yep, yep. The damage. So. I'm glad Four I'm getting all these damage. out. Okay. All right. I believe you have one more attack. You have two attacks this turn. So it's <laughs> it's barely standing. I would you, go ahead and use that again then. Okay. As yeah, I see you, that you, it hasn't you, gone down. Yeah, you hit across the, the uh, its face. The jaw is completely broken off. It's like hanging from what skin's left. All right. I'll go ahead and roll this again then. <laughs> okay. And my damage. All right. Hmm? So, how do you kill this thing? Um, literally just swinging at its head until okay. it comes off. Yeah, until so you're just like <laughs> bashing it, bashing it. like the final one. Just like it breaks the uh, the head off. And once that happens, it turns into dust as it falls to the sand. Nice. Let's go. Uh, before we right after we finish combat, I yep. walk up behind the owlbear and. Uh, yeah, it's Strixhaven plushy, so it's like looking over the owlbear's head. <laughs> okay, so you have there's a Strixhaven there's a Strixhaven plushy on your head. How do you feel? I'm just gonna shake until it gets off. <laughs> <laughs> Keep moving. Uh, do that, my character says. 
That's not a good idea. It'll definitely come in handy later for absolutely no reason whatsoever. You can trust me. <laughs> that rightly <laughs> pick it up with two talents and then puts it in its bag of did holding. You, well, did you just really do a fucking D's nuts joke? <laughs> 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 Micah's been sitting on the floor. <laughs> you know, mine. Like, need yeah. I I've just been watching. Dagger uh, in hand. Yeah, just waiting for your turn. Because, you know, you're like, oh, next time. Next I look time. at the owlbear. <laughs> and I just uh, stare. <laughs> staring da- I just think staring at this daggers. point. Daggers. I think at, at this point, I. Uh, Joe notices the 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 look on uh, their face, and then I would walk back and share my my bucket of beer that's the whole thing. No hesitation, takes a legit two gulps of that shit, gets up, and continues fucking walking. I'm no use here. I am absolutely no use here. I don't know why I came here, but apparently I'm no fucking use here. It's okay, the owl bear is gonna what you would think what you would think is just sounds like harmful clicking and like chirping from like an owl is more or less just coming across as probably a laugh <laughs> to your ears as he's as he's stopping the conjuration of the entanglement and the vines just wither away. <laughs> so just one more look at you. Buddy, would you like a Strixhaven mascot too? Would that make you happy? <laughs> Honestly, that would be amazing. All right. I will I, take it, Ving. I slap the cuddly Strixhaven mascot onto your arm. Perfect. I don't... Surprisingly, I, surprisingly, Micah gets a little smile on her face, but keeps I, walking. I honestly want to know what's going to happen with these plushies now, and I'm like, what's going on? What's, what is your angle here? <laughs> All right. Oh, I have many angles. I am a character of <laughs> mysterious background. I yeah. definitely know something has an not quite exact knowledge of something. You could say it's an approximate knowledge. All right. So the, you guys out there just get your rest, wake up in the morning, head off uh, into the morning to the desert. You get to the part of the road they said where it basically ends, and you're supposed to head to which direction? I'm going to let to see if they remembered. <laughs> the owl pair is probably going to look. Look back at the rest of them and like motion for a map. <laughs> Wait, say that again. Wait, well, what are we doing? So you're at, you're at lost? the yeah you're at the end of the road where they said and they said once you get to the end of the road you need to head to and I'm not telling you the direction. I want to see if you guys remember what direction I said. Oh God, I... bro, I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I really uh, follow the owl bear. The owl bear literally... seems to know everything. Literally looks at Vig. Do you remember? Uh, I, I, I put the owl bear on the no duty. That probably wasn't a smart move, was it? <laughs> I thought Vig asked questions. <laughs> oh, this is this is great. <laughs> this oh, is no. great. I foresee something bad coming up. <laughs> so way. it's up to the owl bear. Are you going to take out the map? I, I don't have the map. They have the map. That's why I'm motioning towards them. <laughs> oh, the great. Map. So the map's... The so map's you got, probably he's like the owlbear's like... On the floor. <laughs> like, map. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I think the owlbear is asking for something. I suppose we should give the owlbear a piece of paper and pen. This probably would be the smart move, would it not? Yes, this, this makes sense. Uh, yes. Yeah, I guess so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Whatever. Yeah, it's, it's just gonna shake his head, sit down on his ass for a minute as he sits there and writes on the pin and pad and turns it around and he's gonna go, Where's the fucking map? <laughs> oh, the oh. map. Who has the map? I don't have the map. Looks at Joe, do you have the map? I don't have the map. Flip to an empty page. So crunching. So Are crunching you fucking kidding empty. me? <laughs> I think we forgot to grab the map from the. Uh, no, one of you. One of you grabbed the map. I know one of you grabbed the fucking map. 
Okay, can we assume that I grabbed the map drunkenly and yes. stuck it in my pocket? I, it, yeah. It was our it's pad. either that or I'm going to make a roll, and depending on what my roll says, either you have the map or not. Okay. <laughs> Whichever. I, I what, give we, uh, the owlbear the map. <laughs> okay, I'm look, I was about to be like, I'm going to feel up vague to find this map. <laughs> All three and a half feet of me just attacks this attacks vague. Give me right. the map. So you guys have the map. You jungle. You realize jungly that oh yes, I put it. I put it in the bag. It's right here. So you, you put down the map. It, it's a good thing that isn't our bar tab since we don't uh, have one. Now we who? Have to pay it. Now who gives the map? Actually, let me ask you that. Who hands over the map? I'll hand over the map. Okay. Just want just want to make sure. Uh, so yeah, you you, un you unroll the map. You see, basically, Charlie said it looks like uh, if we need to go to the left to get to the tomb. Mm -hmm. That will bear a point off to the left. Micah left walks. Is. Micah walks over and takes the map this time. I'm gonna hold this. Oh, no, bear's really? gonna clutch it in his hands. So <laughs> I'm gonna hold uh, this. Micah, when you pick up the map, uh, your skin oh. gets very dry and catches on fire. Shit! No! <laughs> oh, no. Wait! No, wait. Does the map catch fire or does she catch does fire? The map and her. Oh, no. Both of us do. <laughs> oh, uh, the is going to start shoveling sand in her direction. <laughs> can, I, can I use a quick can I use a uh, what do they call it? A quick, quick act. Uh, use one of my items. <laughs> what item? What item do you have to help with this? Um, bucket full the, of the, <laughs> the, the, the decanter of endless water. Yeah, you can use that. Would you? Would you like to do the geyser <laughs> mode on your decanter? Yes, <laughs> yes, I would. How do I use it? You just basically you just activate it like that. So All I, right, have to, I have to do the, the long, uh, long rest, correct? I just want yeah. to make sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you, you, I believe everyone's got a long rest. So yeah. So you take long rest. Yeah, we you, you took a long rest uh, the night before. So yeah, everyone took a long rest. Um. So do I have to click it? Yeah. Does I take damage? Oh no! You uh, you're not gonna take damage this time. Okay. You're not well, gonna I just burst into fire. Got you're it. Just, your okay. hands just you burst into fire. It goes out quickly because you're getting you're getting hit with sand and a geyser of water. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh wait, crap! I forgot how how long does the geyser last for? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look that up real quick. No. <laughs> no I'm on. getting waterboarded, bro. Um, oh, produces 30 gallons of water that gushes forth in a geyser 30 feet long and one foot wide. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bonus action while uh, holding the dick in the So your character the gets pushed back. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more, it's more the thing you pick up the map, oh, you, roll no. up, you roll the map up, you say, <laughs> oh, it catches on fire. You're like, oh shit. You get sand thrown on you. It's like, and you're like trying to spread the sand. As soon as you do that, you get blasted back about 30 feet. With water. Uh, <laughs> the owlbear is going to walk up to Joe. God. The object and is either knocked over or pushed up to 15 feet away about 15 from feet. you. <laughs> Micah falls I flat, falls flat on her face. The owlbear is going to walk over to his decanter of water, pick it up. <laughs> Glare at Joe and start walking over to Micah. <laughs> Micah is absolutely face down. Uh, I will also walk over to Micah and be like, you okay there, little buddy? Do, do you want me to, uh, you know, scrabble together a uh, carrier and uh, we can have the owlbear carry you for a little while? The, the, the question that Joe has is... First blurs out as everybody's standing over her. Is the map okay? <laughs> Micah turns over <laughs> on her back. Uh, sits up. So the map was saved. Uh unfortunately, uh the 
part where it shows you like exactly where the entrance is has been burned away. Great. Shows you the burnt map. Can I, from recollection of staring at the map to figure out where we were going? Yes. You, or you discern the entrance? Yeah, you kind of can, looking at the map, remember. Do you want you me saw. to roll for that? or? Uh, roll me, yeah, roll me your intelligence History. real quick. Yeah, oh, an intel- an int roll? Yeah, roll me your intelligence just to see if you can remember. 12. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you on a 12. You're, you've got a okay. rough uh, detail, like a rough look, uh, estimate where the location is. Okay. After Joe asks that question, he'll write on the piece of paper, yes, map is fine. Entrance part, Bert. Lucky I have a good memory. (laughs) Micah just throws the map on the floor. (laughs) Albert, can you, can I, please? That hurt. Yeah, yeah, get on. I'm (laughs) crawling. And at this point, the goblin mounts to Albert, and the DMD universal line, and some guy is like, what the fuck just happened? Let's go! <laughs> I'm on the Albert! Oh, God. I'm gonna pick up the map in my beak and just start walking in the direction towards the tomb. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you guys are going towards the tomb. And I actually have a picture of what the tomb looks like. Let's go there. Micah melts. That's it. There's the entrance of the tomb. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So, after a couple of hours, you see the entrance to the tomb. This magnificent entrance that looks like it hasn't even been, like, touched by time. Uh, it's still kind of, like, it still, like, looks like it's still saw holding a shape. Uh, there are statues of jackal headed figures holding uh, staves. You see the two statues of what you believe may be the last pharaoh of Amatet. Uh, and yeah, the entrance has been opened. Uh, and it's still open. And before we go in, you guys go in. We're going to take a quick break. And something else may happen during this break. I mean, after the break, oh, we'll see. Because I still have rolls I have to do. <laughs> you still have- oh, yeah. We still have curses, too. We haven't been told when those are going to be applied. Oh, Nico, Nico's just Mine off. just happened. <laughs> Remember okay. that burst of fire? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. We're going to take a quick break. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, ever, guys. And we'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to do... Where is it? Oh, no. I forgot where I had to do. All right. You're serious. Yep. Be right back.
On most nights, I'm just wearing my pajamas, staying up too late, cause I'm watching Futurama, thinking where's my trauma, thinking where's my trauma, my life's no melodrama, leave it off the screen, cause it's got no genre, sometimes I call my mama, rain. She's always my armor I want to fly away Far from my mistakes My package has too much weight hey, hey. So my bed is where I stay Tell the clouds that I say hey We are back. Uh, Nico will be back in just a few. They had a little issue with their puppy, but uh, they're recovering on the owl bear's back, so this totally works out. But yeah, you guys find yourselves in front of the tomb. But before that, I need to make rolls. I mean, spins. Because uh, oh, someone, gr someone graciously gave five gifted subs while... Uh, Six. While we were on oh, six. six gifted subs, six gifted subs. Hey. While uh, you guys, we were all away. So uh, let's get that wheel. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, first one. Oh boy! Hey, you have an advantage on the next roll. Woo. That's a good one for you guys. Is that all players or just one? All players. 
Hey, we have an eight advantage. We have eight of one from Resident Evil. Ask the DM one question. That could be any question. And I will answer it truthfully to my best of, uh, to my, to my best I can. So to the best so, of his knowledge, to the best of my knowledge. Thank you. I can't speak right now. Is this something bankable? Or yes. Or these are right now. Your next two rolls. The will, the will's like you right now. The next two rolls have advantage. I think this is four right here. Four or five. This is four. four. Yes. Players first. Damn it. Who's gonna be the cursed? Vague. Damn it. <laughs> we'll get the curse in just a bit. Uh, last one. I know you have one more. A cartoon character as an NPC appears. God damn it. You guys, oh, you guys, God. You guys, you guys get to pick that. You said one more? Uh -oh. Or was this the last one? No, one more still. One more, okay. Uh, Foxy, you know what? Since you've given so many gifts to subs, I will, I will add to the weight of that spin for okay. it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so if it doesn't happen on this spin, I will add to the weight. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh god! Yay. Fuck out of here with that! No, <laughs> it's only one card. Hell no! It's only one card. Um. Okay. So uh, let's uh, do this. All right. So let's do the curse first. <laughs> Great. Sick cartoon character. First thing that popped into my head was Big Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's one we could do. Hold on one second. Uh... <laughs> cartoon character and I'm getting vase curse. Uh, I will be right back. Something just came up. Uh, let me roll your curse vague real quick. Okay. Uh, so how does everybody feel about duck dodgers? Wow. Can you do a voice line? <laughs> no, I can't. I'm not that good. Wait. <laughs> Wait. It, it, you said NPC. Can the NPC be <laughs> one of the next uh, enemies that we encounter? NPC is like yep, someone it, we have it, to interact. It's, oh. it's, it's an NPC. Oh, perfect. Wait, uh, I I have an image for. I've got an image for All this. Right. While while you guys are doing that, I'll be right back. Uh, and then I need to add to the weight. And I think what was the last one? Oh, the deck. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, we're. So that's that's the thing. Perfect. I, I I'm gonna like this curse. No, where did I save it to? Okay, be right back. <laughs> um. Well, there's a random image of Big Ed on my computer somewhere. <laughs> I remember the episode of Ed Ed and Eddie where uh, what was it? Uh, they were like, yeah, we took his stairs away, and they literally just he's, he's oh yeah, they was literally like, took the entire stairs who, out of the base. Who does that? <laughs> who does that? And they were creating uh, ways to get up the stairs. <laughs> One was the giant um, bobby pin, <laughs> and they're like launching people up the stairs. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was the episode where uh, uh, 
uh, Sarah and uh, Timmy were uh, on Jimmy. guard. Remember yeah, Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy. Sorry, Timmy. J- Jimmy, Jimmy. two by four. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> this, this, this is the image that I want one of our enemies to be. <laughs> I will accept it. <laughs> oh, Hello. Welcome back. Welcome Did I miss back. something? Am I uh, dead? Uh, no, no they, you're, we, you're just vibing. You're just vibing. Um, oh, bear's back. Not yet, but um, <laughs> we'll see what happens after this card gets thrown. Oh Foxy, no, there's Fo- oh Foxy donated uh, oh. more and okay. Bulldog just got done rolling. We have two players have advantages on next roll. Everybody One. has advantage on their next two rolls. Sorry, everybody, <laughs> yeah. Ask the DM info. Uh one more player's cursed. One pick a cartoon character as an NPC. Uh hence Big Ed. In uh, oh. in in Discord chat. Got it. And uh, nice. draw okay. a card from a deck of many things. Which I don't know what that is, but judging by some people's reactions, um, it could be bad. <laughs> it could be really good. It could be really bad. I don't know if there's like a neutral thing in there. Do we get to see a dragon, possibly? Yes. Um, maybe? Can we tame the dragon? Unlikely. I didn't grab the item for making friends with <laughs> beasts. <laughs> I thought about it, too. It was like, Same. hmm. I absolutely thought about it, but someone... You did? Someone <laughs> said no. We won't need it. You fucking do that. Uh huh. Don't you dare do what I think you're doing. Doing what? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Add the item. How much is it? I've got, I've got 209 gold left. Can we buy stuff on you the are, fly? Probably you are not. Not at a store. Yeah, I was going to say, we're not in a store. <laughs> Shit! If you Damn happen it. to find a merchant in the middle of the desert, possibly. <laughs> I'm guessing that's that. probably not. In the has wares if you have coin. Oh my All god, right. I totally remember. Am I still sitting I... on the owlbear? Yep. Bro, I'm alive. Yep, I'm alive. You're alive. I've been preparing for this moment. For now. For now. It's... I still haven't received back my decanter of endless water, so I'm, I'll be waiting for that to return to me at some point. You're not allowed to have it back. <laughs> it's just yo know, in the bag. Just... Not allowed. Cool guys are That's my flooding now. the tomb. <laughs> oh, there's Bro, a Bro, I can't swim. There. Please don't. There's so many dad jokes in there. I shall hold them. I have been told I can only cast so many. <laughs> I'm instinctual. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've... Wow. Way to me for playing my... I'm, I'm, I'm totally letting my gesture down. Bruh. <laughs> uh, this has I been found... fun so far. It's been a lot of fun so far. I found something. You guys look at the. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. I can't. Please. Hey, uh, Albert. That's me. Is this you? Bro, put it down. Put it down. Please put it down. Um, It's not a toy. Put it down. 
from the image. I can't tell. Is it licking okay. or eating the foof? It's eating. Put it down. <laughs> nom nom. Nom nom. nom, nom. <laughs> nom, nom. <laughs> but nom nom. <laughs> no, not nom nom, but nom nom. No, <laughs> not nom nom. But nom nom. Don't worry, whenever we get back, I have an item for Nico's exact problem. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, Foxy, I just saw this. This would be so perfect for the other thing that you just said I should be. Oh, that's adorable. Fuck. Oh, uh, that owlbear's like, I'm so done with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I have a picture of my Drake Warden. I kid you not, you're probably going to fuck it. We're we're probably going to end up in another fucking campaign together, and we're going to probably want to play these characters again, or at least play somewhat remotely close to, if not slightly different. Sorry about characters. that. I had to go catch a puppy real quick. Oh, hey guys. Oh, okay? good. My pu- my food is on its way. Yay. Is is puppy okay? <laughs> oh yeah, puppy's okay. Puppy's being missed. Puppy's definitely okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, I thought I thought something had happened, and I was like, "Mama mode." Okay. Ironically, uh, my Drake Warden, uh, her Drake's name is Ardith from the Mummy. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! I love that. That's so cute. I love it. Epic. So my food is almost here, and I'll probably have to like step away for like a hot second just to no go problem. grab it. So I can tell you what the card uh- is real quick. Okay. Yeah, what happened? Oh, what happened? So I'm scared. We had six rolls, thanks to our great Foxy here. Uh and the last oh. one was I pulled a deck a card from the deck of many things. It's a dragon, isn't it? Tell um, me it's a what dragon. Did you, what did you guys um uh, pick as your uh, cartoon character? Uh I, big, I, I, well, I think Big Ed was our choice. Big Big Ed. From well, Ed, as, Ed. You guys, Ed. as you guys are Joining our, you know, at the entrance of the tomb, you hear clattering of metal come to up to you, like it's coming from behind you. Mm. Did you say clattering? Yep, clattering of metal. <laughs> oh mm. god. Okay. Albert's first instinct is to whip around. Uh, uh, Micah. See, Micah. <laughs> you see a distance a. Humanoid in a full set of plate mail on a horse riding up to you. At this oh, point, God. Micah gets up. Like finally brings her face up from sitting on the owlbear, his back. And he just looks at this metal thing and is like, don't tell me you gotta kill it. Is this round two? God. A low, is this grumble is just com- <laughs> a low grumble is just coming from the owl bear. <laughs> uh, after a while, the knight, the person comes up. You can see it's a, it would be considered a knight. A shining metal armor, armor comes up to you, stops, gets off his horse. It pulls up his visor. It's Ed, it's, it's Big Ed. And goes, hello. <laughs> I, I would like to offer Nico and Ed coffee. Because I have a bottle of boundless coffee in my item list. Micah whips, whips her fucking face towards Big. Do I smell coffee? Yeah, it says each time you drink coffee, roll a d20. If they roll a one, you can't have coffee for an hour. <laughs> I, don't, don't roll a one. <laughs> I, all I've been rolling are ones. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Wait, what do I have to do? Just roll, roll a d20. d20. Yeah, just roll a d20. Just roll it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Just roll. Oh, wait. How come it won't roll? Hello? Uh, it should roll for you. Uh, uh, if you... On your character sheet. Hold on. Let me find it real quick. All right. Fruit zero. Be back. Yep, no problem. Oh, there you go. I should be able to roll. Yep. Yeah. That is, Give me that copy. That's an eight. It's not a one. <laughs> <gasps> All, right. All right. I'll roll for... Uh, our night friend Ed. Okay. Just a moment. Uh, 
11. Okay. 11. Nice. So anyone else want free coffee? Sounds like an awful uh, idea to put it on the world. Shame on the no, I, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 K, I see that. <laughs> I will opt in for coffee. All right, roll a d20. Here's so we don't break our coffee machine. <laughs> <laughs> as, I, as I hold out my, my empty bucket of beer. <laughs> uh, bucket where, of coffee? <laughs> yes. Where's uh, Where do I... Uh, so you go to the little bottom... Yeah, and there should be where like the dice is. Yeah, there should be like a dice you can click on your character D20. sheet. Oh, oh, oh yep. okay. Yep. So you click roll on the very top one that says D twenty. Yep, and then yep. roll it. And then just uh, press roll. Wow! Wow! Nice. Nat, nat twenty. Nat twenty. All right, I I hold my bucket underneath. <laughs> 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 yeah. Micah just immediately. Immediately gets off of the owlbear without thanking him or anything. Just rushes straight for fucking big. <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee! Uh, the big Ed is just standing there. Uh, As we're all getting coffee. <laughs> no, he's just there. Uh, and big Ed a uh, thing of coffee. A mug. Hello, friend. I returned How are your travels? Hello! Hello! Nightly Night Hello. Ed here. <laughs> this is our party of adventurers <laughs> the owlbear the goblin face joe dad joke extraordinaire <laughs> and myself the one with the mysterious background who's definitely not mysterious at all <laughs> i'm here to protect the hold on a like like look around look around goes to the horse Opens the horse mouth, puts his hand out, brings out a piece of paper, rolls out, and says, I am here to protect you. <laughs> Pointing at the owl bear. What the fuck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Immediately just going to fucking raise like one eyebrow and just <laughs> like what? Tips coffee. Stares at Owlbear. What kind of luck do you have, bro? Piss poor is what he's just gonna squeak out with every <laughs> chirp. Vaguely walks over and asks, Are you sure you aren't cursed from some noble lineage or something? Gonna get a slight growl. <laughs> well, all right then. Do you so want I some pull, coffee, owlbear I, friend? Uh oh yeah, does the does the owlbear want coffee? He's going to shake his head. So I pulled the, the knight, so the the jack of uh, diamond uh, hearts, I mean, which is gain the service of a fourth level fighter or a knight. What? Your fighter what? is is big Ed. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That's, wait, that's your blessing? Oh my no, that's God. not his blessing. No, that, was the deck, no. that was the deck of many things. That so was we, the deck of many things. We not have asked for a better... Night. I mean, it's a cartoon character who literally is the strongest of the ads. <laughs> it takes everything for damage. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. So, you now have the service of the night in front of the temple. What would you like to do? Bro, I just I want to use my sandwich. background to get more info on what we're dealing with. Yes, yeah, so uh, looking over the temple, you can tell that it is possibly the temple of uh, Amatet. Uh, this temple seems to be as old as about 750 years old. Uh, the statues are made of solid gold. So if you were strong enough to say, you know, break the gold and take it with you, you would be rich. Um, the statues themselves are considered to be, uh, they in history were called sentinels. Uh, they were to activate if they felt like there was danger. Um, and what I mean by activate is basically pursue the intruder. Uh, you're not sure if they work anymore, though. They don't seem like to be. They're pretty destroyed, broken up. Uh, also, you do know that uh, there is a certain bad luck if a tomb is left open. Ooh. I think Joe at this point walks up to Vaguely and says, So what do you think of this place? Taking his mace and tapping it on 
one of the walls of the tomb, checking for integrity of the structure. <laughs> I think we are in danger. Micah sits there with a coffee, kind of just bouncing up and down in place. So can I just tap on the gold? Is that what I'm? Is is that what we're talking about now? Uh, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I tap on this gold? Can I? Can I just hit it? Is this? Is this? Is the this... bear's gonna walk over and just gently pick you up and place you back on his back. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, vaguely says, you know, I still have the uh, child carrier if you need it. What? <laughs> Excuse me, goblin carrier. That's right. Better be a fucking goblin carrier, not a child carrier. If it's okay with you, Bull, I have this spell, Vine Whip. I'm just going to hold out my hand and slowly protrude like little vines from I'm my fine. hand. I am fine with that. And yes. then retreat them. Yes. And he's going to shake his head, basically indicating, I don't need it. <laughs> roger, Roger. 10 4, buddy. <laughs> Joe just has a big smirk on his face while he's slowly sipping on the coffee. Uh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> All right. Would you like to enter? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Bouncing, <laughs> bouncing on the Albert. Come on. I would like Let to me hit something. My 10 uh, foot full pole to poke around to make sure uh, nothing's going to kill us as we walk in. Okay. As I'm just over there, like tapping on the side walls of the tomb, like checking, <laughs> mindlessly tapping. <laughs> all right. So you're my you're you know, going through all the tombs. Uh, so it looks like a fairly empty tomb. Uh, you're expecting you were expecting when you hear about like the last pharaoh. You know all his riches and um, possibly uh, the, he possibly obtained through his life would be in here, but it's fairly empty other than a few statues. Um, and the statues are what you saw outside. They're the sentinels, but they're mostly broken up. Um, you do come into one room though, and there are eight sarcophagus in this room. Oh boy. Micah immediately hops off. Goblin Way is activated and takes a few steps forward towards the first one. So I can open this one, right? Sure. You can open it. What could possibly go wrong? What could ever happen in a cursed tomb? Stealing from a dead body. What could possibly go wrong? Let's do it. Is there a role for opening up one of these tombs? Nope. Would you you would like to open the first tomb? Absolutely, Micah runs over. <laughs> Can we open this one? This one, this one, this one. I'm doing it. Okay. Let me open pulls it. out a stake, oh. a wooden stake. Okay. Hey, Albert, you want to come stand in front of me? <laughs> um, at this point, Joe is going to use one of his uh, humorous dad jokes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> as he looks towards Micah and says you know the great thing about <laughs> tombs <laughs> and jokes that go with them they're usually going to make you feel dead inside <laughs> hey do you want to come step in front of me we should open this together come here I really uh, hope that didn't get me. It's the kill. Not yet. Not Ordrum's yet. <laughs> Ordrum's <laughs> gonna walk up, place his hand on the on the tube before she pushes it open and cast a spell magic. What? Okay. Oh, Vague is gonna casting? stand on the other side with the stake ready to roll. Yep. Slowly walk up. Bro, my fists are out. I'm ready. Oh, Let's go. Oh, 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 wait. I just remembered. Uh, Joe would like to also cast a spell. Which will be sanctuary. Okay. I think if I'm thinking of this right. Uh, and I realize at that point, I would like to equip my Strixhaven pendant. Okay. I'm just gonna slap it on my chest. Oh, Let me just can read I it also? Real quick. Yeah. Can I also put on something? Yep. Yeah, what would you like to? I have to roll. 
uh, uh, at this point in time, I don't know if anybody's going to see this, um, but I'm going to go ahead and put that ring of mind shielding on. Sounds good. I don't know if I have to roll for that. Nope. No, you do not. It's just on. I don't know who's who's going to see. I think like part of it is like, I, I, have, um, I have to use an action to for it to become invisible. Yeah. Do yeah. I have to roll for uh, that? Nope. You just you use one of your actions. You turn, yeah. Perfect. So oh, it's a, say, it I is invisible, right now, but I do. I think I do right now we're off. free. Yeah. We're free actioning most yeah. things. Yeah, mostly okay. it's just a free action to activate it. Um, no one so notices you, it, but I do. So put that on. you've cast the spell magic on the uh, sarcophagus. Okay, who's mm -hmm. opening mm -hmm. it? Woo! Well, my hand's already on it, so I'm going to start it. it open. Okay. Uh, just roll me a straight check. It's pretty easy, though. <coughs> yep, 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 yep. 16. Yep, you easily push off this, the lid of the You, It falls over. You look inside. It's empty. Damn it. That is definitely a bad omen if the, the mummies are gone. You should be That's careful. That's a bad sign. Joe clenches his mace a little harder. There are seven more in this room. Micah blinks. I, I would like to give uh, the owlbear one of my ten-foot sticks so we can open two tombs at the same time. <laughs> All right. Micah now, runs to the it, fourth. Stand up on his... <laughs> He'll stand up at his full fucking height. Michael runs there. to the fourth and is like, I'll open up this one if, if y'all want to just open up everything together. So everyone's Why gonna, not? Everyone's the, 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 the owl bear is going to take the ten foot stick and stand ten feet away and lightly bap her hands. What? <laughs> We're trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, owl bear. I'm going to shake its head. <laughs> no, we are absolutely going to open it. Despite you on the head. Keep bapping me and I will absolutely fucking pluck one of your feathers off. I'll just give you a squint of like, try me. <laughs> Bitch, keep hitting my head and, I, and you fucking just find out. All right. Um, so, he'll point. Now, our bell will point to the third one. Okay. As he points to Vague to the second one. All right. <laughs> All right so you owe me two more. Yeah, ten, using the 10 foot pole he gave me. Okay. You I'm open two using more. A 10 foot pole to open it from a distance. You open it uh, next two. They are empty. Micah, open the fourth, please. At this point, the owlbear is going to set, um, set himself down, pull out the pen and pad, and write, I don't think we should open the others. I think we should go deeper. Um, I have a question. Yes. Is as one of my uh one of the rogue class features, the eye for detail mm -hmm. would that work for uh checking or un uncovering or deciphering clues to the next ones as whether or not there's anything sealed away within them or not? Uh yeah, you want to see if there's any like things sealed in like the inside of them? Yeah. Roll me your perception. Perception. Uh, 16. Uh, you don't see anything like, like hidden inside, but you do see scratch marks of something that's crawled out. On one of the tombs. Of if the of one of the sarcophagus, uh, yes. Okay. So at this point, uh, <clears throat> Joe makes a statement. I believe uh, we should be wary of this tomb here. Is it look or sarcophagus? As it uh, it looks like something may have been in or out of this one. Which one is that? Uh, it would be the fifth one. The fifth one. Yeah, so after hearing that, our bear will write down C. Wasting time. At this point, 
Micah nods their head and takes one look at one more look at the uh, the, sarco- sar- the fifth sarcophagus mm-hmm. and just look around and be like, "This place is huge. We should definitely continue." He'll, oh. Albert will walk back over, stick still, like stick <clears throat> being held in his beak, and he'll hand it back <laughs> back the bag. <laughs> and then he'll walk over to Micah, reach over, pick him up, and then put them back on the <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> yep so you guys I, I, you guys continue to look through the uh the tombs great yeah. i need everyone except for nico to give me a, a dc 16 wisdom saving throw what does uh my first that one oh, oh. seven never mind <laughs> i was about to say fuck <laughs> Where's that one? Located? So if you uh, if you look over on the left side, um, the head, you you'll see yep. like uh, strength, dex, con, stuff like that. You want the one that says WIS? It says plus five. You want to click on that? Okay. Oh, I did it. Wait, hold up. I did the oh. fucking. I didn't do a saving throw. I did a straight wisdom. Move yeah, you want, one you, you want to sit? Yeah, you want a saving hold throw. It. At 22. At okay. 24. Let's go. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, Where is the saving throw? You don't have to do it. You're you fine. You didn't you touch don't. You didn't touch one of the sarcophagi, which oh, I knew true. as a player knew, but my character was kind of like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> all right. Wait for Vegas Rogue up here. Mine should have just landed. It was a 20. Uh, for some reason, for mine, it's like hung up on your mine. Role. Yeah, it's hung up on mine. Yeah, I accidentally when I was clicking hit another button, so it moved me to. Oh, you're page. fine. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can try again for you. And Vega. It. it was twenty, and then I got screwed on the reroll. Okay, you all safe though. Okay. Great. Wait. So, you guys are going to look further into the tombs. Great. Um, I will say, as you guys are um, looking into the tombs, looking in the different rooms, uh, you do find where the archaeologists were excavating, uh, going into deeper. Uh, there is a giant hole leading downward, and there are ropes that are tied on um tied off to certain like posts and everything that are going down oh boy the goblin slowly steps forward and at this point i'm guessing it's getting dimmer as do i look down right yeah takes a look at what takes one look at the rope looks back at the group and's like who wants to go first? Is there uh, like a small pebble or something around me? Yeah, well, the good news pebble. is, Mike. Now <coughs> cool. We're a I'm gonna. Friend. I'm I gonna walk it. over and gently touch that and cast light on it, and then toss it down the hole. <laughs> okay. You. I see... also have coins of delving, my good owlbear friend. Yep. So you throw the uh, stone with light on it. You see it go down, go down, go down, go down. Uh, you also see that the light starts to fade. Oh my. Albert's just gonna nod his head. <laughs> right? That's fucking deep. <laughs> I also would like to toss a coin of delving down just to see what happens. Okay. Uh you throw it down. Uh it you you do both you both hear the stone and the, the coin hit the ground. So there is a bottom. How many seconds pass before we do? Uh, fifteen. Oh, so God. what is that? That's uh, one hundred fifty feet. All okay. right. Oh God. Good news. <clears throat> I brought one hundred and fifty feet of rope. There you go. <laughs> Micah takes a step back and sighs. Well, I mean. 
I can see in the dark, but uh, I can tell you all now it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> God, it'll, I want to tell it'll... so many more dad jokes here. The <laughs> character is just in the background giggling to himself. <laughs> We all know this giggle. <laughs> I suppose we should put the ropes together and uh, make something definitely secure enough to get us all the way down because I feel like the ropes that are already there, you can't guarantee they're not going to fall apart on us halfway through. And then the three of us who can't potentially fly are going to die horribly because well, <laughs> we don't have an active uh, flight system. Joe nods at this. Micah agrees and comes over to start helping. But we'll takes a look at the owlbear. I can ride on your back during this, right? Owlbear's just gonna look at all of you and, and write on the piece of paper. Bro, I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna jump in there then, right? You're the cushion, right? You're going oh first, right? Um, You're lucky I don't use you as a pillow at night. Do it. <laughs> vaguely replies, look, I was at the City of Bloodless Men once, and I did see an owlbear glide down. It was a very big owlbear, but it still glided down. I believe. I don't know. Do owlbears have the ability for gliding? <laughs> They can sure well try. I'm not willing to take that risk <laughs> at 150 feet. <laughs> it's not, here's the thing. The question is not can you glide. It's are you going to risk it? <laughs> exactly. So how, wait, how much rope does Vague have? 150 feet. Just enough. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, the Albert will reach into his bag of holding and pull out a, a 50 feet of hemp rope. Okay, so... Micah, Micah feet. size, Micah size. I hate um, doing so this. fifty feet is going to be a little short to reach the bottom of that hole. Well, yeah. right? That's so why I, I, I pulled. There's two hundred now. There's two with the hemp yeah. rope. We'd be like probably five feet short from the bottom. Oh, I was just, Joe was thinking since the owlbear is a bit on the larger side to um, go down a hole with one rope, maybe we combined another rope set together and make two ropes for the bear to hold on to as the boys right as the boys are talking about how to get down there, oh, Micah just starts talking. Mike Yeah, while those two are talking, Micah just starts put grab, grabs the end of one of those ropes and just starts tying it around their waist. Oh, okay. Boys. okay. I am, f I, look, I am 50 something pounds. Just throw me the fuck over. Hurry up. I can see in the dark. Just <laughs> I, throw me over. So, <laughs> so we're going to lower, we're going to lower Micah down into the hole. Perfect. Yeah, you Let's can do go. that as well. Okay. I'm, I'm good with this. Can we Jake, do that? Actually, hold uh -huh. on. Nico. Yes. Nico, I want you to uh, make me a wisdom, uh, actually, maybe a charisma saving throw real quick. Charisma the saving? <laughs> yep. Charisma saving throw. <laughs> Just click on that number, right? Yep. Nine? Eleven? Uh, you hear a voice saying, telling you, he's like, come down here. It's everything you think it is. It's great. Oh, no. <laughs> Micah touches the ring on her hand for a second. After hearing that. Mm -hmm. Looks at the group. But decides. It's cool. I'm the tiniest. I get it. I'm the glidest. And the owlbear can literally just throw lower me really quickly. Oh, yes. Lower you. That throw. Yeah. I mean, I can throw my ass to it. It's fine. Right? Like, I can take a hit. It's fine. Uh, uh, I, Micah I float, decides not to say anything to the group. Okay. Um, a uh, yarding and a uh, bird pipes. And I hand the bird pipes to my uh, good friend Joe to play. Okay. Micah down. Um, I I I also have a uh, a ghost lantern, and I was curious to know if we're allowed to pass items to other players. If yes, this is can. an item that I could, 
I uh, would like in my ghost lantern to uh, Micah to uh, tie around their waist as we lower them. I, I smile very, very cheekishly and, and, and remind uh, everyone that I do have dark vision. <laughs> so I can see in the oh. darkness up to 60 feet. And okay. the reason why I was like, okay, it might be the best for me to. I don't know if that in- needs me yep. to like a wisdom thing or anything, uh, Bull, but. Mm-hmm. Do yeah, I need no, to roll you, for the, any of that? Nope, you don't have to I roll just, at all. I just know. Okay, cool. So I, I just smile at you. Just, I, 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 it's probably better that you guys have it. <laughs> okay. So I also uh, can see in the dark, by the way. So Who else can see in the can, dark? I can, I can also see in the dark. Yeah. Goggles <laughs> <laughs> uh, of night. Say, okay. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. And the we're, ghost we're lantern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ghost lantern um, honestly so might be best on Albert. The 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 stone that was lit and tossed down the hole is is that still lit at the bottom of the hole? It's still lit, but you cannot see it. Okay. Okay. Um, Joe looks at Albert. Would you like to borrow my ghost lantern on our way down? The Halber is just going to look at all of you, and he's just going to write down, you guys know that I'm a druid, right? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right, then Joe is going to look at Micah and ask, Let's go! Micah, are you ready to make your descent? (laughs) Toss me, baby! (laughs) All right. No, seriously, I'm ready. Let's go. (laughs) Right. Uh, who's taking who's taking the reins on this? Bro, All if right. Albert doesn't punt me, sure. I'm gonna literally oh. throw myself down there. Someone better okay. have that fucking um, rope. Jo- <laughs> uh Joe grabs a hold of the rope um and brings Micah over to the hole and we are going to start the descent. So Yeet! Joe starts to lower Micah down the hole. All right. So Micah is getting lowered in. Okay. Joe shouts down. How's it looking so far? It's dark as fuck. I'm fine but though. But you can see. But uh, I can see. So it's very dark. Um, but as you continue to go lower and lower, uh, you do see the statues that you saw outside. The more, um that were more like showed like this like stoic pharaoh have now had this more like he is disfigured face on them uh boys um the statues look angry (laughs) the statues look absolutely angry uh Uh, is that supposed to should i shall i keep lowering you or do you want me to pull you back up (laughs) Um, can I use my archaeologist here to know if it's a, uh, the Pharaoh maybe worshipped an old god or something from beyond the stars? Uh, no, it's not, you don't think he has worshipped like an old god. Uh, probably a demon though. That could be it. Okay, I'll take it. Bishop Bulldog, it's time for your sermon. <coughs> Why do I got this right now? All right. All right. So you keep going down, down to the depths of hell. Sorry, the tomb. Um, and as you go down, the statues will get more and more haunted until you hit the bottom. At the bottom, you see the stone and the coin that was thrown down. You also see some friends of yours who are on the ground. And I'm going to move you to that map. Do, 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 do. Oh! Uh, before oh. We, can I do one thing before we all go down? Yep. I have a uh, lock and chain. I am going to chain our rope to a statue before we go down so nobody can uh, just uh, kick it down. All right. I- so I'm, am I the only one down here for now? Yep, you're the only one down here right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, well. Now they're not doing anything. 
They are standing still, waiting. Alright, so I, I get down, and I absolutely, absolutely stop moving. Um, hmm. to take a look at the rope on my waist, and uh, proceed to uh, look up, and uh, well, I tug on the rope, <laughs> because I'm too scared. <laughs> to even okay. fucking think about screaming. Uh, I just tug on the rope. <clears throat> quick so Joe change. feels... Yes. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Quick, quick. Even though I'm cursed in my outlaw form, can I still wild chip into other beasts or no? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, do I... So as soon as she's tugging on the rope and I see the rope being tugged on, um, I'm going to look at everyone. <laughs> look at these two idiots that are standing up here. And I'm going to write in the notepad... Either start pulling her up now, or I go down and get her. Um, what if, hear me out, we, we tie the rope to uh, one of us, and one of us just jumps down there, you know, action hero style. You know, just jumps. Oh my god, yes. Like, as fireman as style, talking about grabbing this? the rope. <laughs> no, as they're talking fucking... about this, Micah's just looking around, realizing how many people, and literally just keeps continually pulling so while six they're while they're disgusting wanting to actually jump down the hole, <laughs> I'm going to wild shape into a giant eagle and dive straight down for her. Okay. Um uh, Joe, <laughs> Joe sees this taking place. Joe decides to start making a rapid descent. I'm gonna I'm but oh, no. I'm before I reach oh. down to her, I'm going to spread my wings as far as I can in this hole and reach my talents out and grab at her and Push okay. up as hard as I can. Oh right. Oh. Uh, but yeah, you can still make that descent. Uh, something's gonna happen when you're trying to attempt that as well. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna put Joe because he's starting his descent down. Uh, um, they... Joe's also yelling an old catchphrase from a <laughs> god of another universe. I'm <laughs> going down. <laughs> Leroy <laughs> Jenkins. <laughs> In which case, freaking Micah hears this and just sighs and you idiot, I was trying to let you know there's six motherfuckers down here! Uh, oh my god. Uh, so after Joe makes it to the bottom, I'm gonna wrap the rope around me and I'm gonna do the uh, action hero jump. Okay. But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna throw my uh, you know guitar at one of what I assume is something at the bottom. I'm just gonna make a Wild guesstimate oh of where God. an enemy would be standing, so I'm throwing the guitar. Yeah, in before he bonks the giant eagle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I totally forgot. I would like to add something to that yeah. as I'm about uh, halfway down and I get the Leroy Jenkins out. I forgot that uh, Vague tossed me his uh, bird flute to play, so you guys are just going <laughs> to... Hear the bird flute being played <laughs> as I'm making my descent. <laughs> yes. At this point, I think, am I being tugged up or am I, what, what's happening to me? You basically, I... you, you are just tugging on this rope and you see a giant eagle start to swoop down at you. <laughs> Two other people just jump off going towards you for a rapid descent. Uh, the mum the mummies that are around you are still waiting. They haven't acted yet. Um, before what I was gonna say was gonna happen, they roll me a d twenty first, and if you roll a one, you hit the eagle with your guitar. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why does that say that's a custom? Did you seriously roll in that one? <laughs> he just yeah. rolled he one. rolled in that one. <laughs> you just got hit, bro. I hate it here. I hate it here. So I you're going, so you you're like he's like you basically had told him like either you pull her up or I'm gonna get her. You're swooping down. You're about to like. You're you're swooping down as fast as you can. You spread out your wings. You get the towels. You're about to grab her. All of a sudden, boom! And you are just hit the ground. May I? May I absolutely just uh, 
uh, uh, activate my uh, wound closure necklace and just ter- put it on. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out of out of instinct for me. Yeah. So basically, you you just get stunned oh and just fall God. to the ground at that point. Um, <laughs> roll me Side like a D, just roll me like a D six, vague for damage. Roll D six, okay. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I just, I... And you take six damage. <laughs> okay, so that I had like something else was gonna happen. Maybe you, you, but no, yeah, yeah, no, that that makes sense. That 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 just makes sense there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow, that's what I picture big doing. Ah. <laughs> uh. So I'm guessing, Bull. I just want to make sure um, where my character is, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, the, the one, the one down south for me, right? Like the one on the technically on the bottom of the screen. Is that north? Yes. That's in front of me. Yep, that'd be north. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do I? Was I all? Was I already getting pulled, or was I still on the floor? Like, am I still touching the ground? You're still touching the ground. You there? Everyone's after the eagle hits the ground. Everyone's on the down there with you at this point. Okay. Can I just get Daddle all the way over to uh to Oso? Make sure he's okay. I don't yeah, know if he's passed out or not. No, he's he's still up. It, he's up. <laughs> I, oh. Okay. I just instinctively, for once in this uh in this whole <laughs> campaign, I I put on a, a straight face instead of being an absolute bitch. Out of nowhere, instinctively, I just run forward, and as Oso or as Albra Albear is getting himself situated. I stand in front of him, a little too close to the one on the like the four o'clock, mm-hmm. a little too close. But I stand there and I watch. I just I turn into an absolute guard dog for a second. Mm-hmm. I don't so know if that's going to activate anything, but yes, I'm standing in front of Oso now. Is uh, <laughs> so safe to say that Veg and I have now reached the bottom. We're standing mm-hmm. next to each other. Yes. All right, Joe's going to blur out loud. Man, good thing we were quiet on our way down, huh? It happens. We tried our best. No one could have foreseen this sudden but inevitable turn of events. <laughs> Not in this group, right? I, I am in disbelief, actually, at this point. <laughs> so, as you guys are finally hit the ground, you hear... Um, you hear like someone clapping as they walk towards you right here, and it's a another mummy. Uh, but he's more he's less shambly. He's walking up straight. Uh, you can actually kind of see still some like humanoid like uh, uh shape and figure to his body. Uh, his stomach of his skin is kind of still there. Do you can tell like there was a human there? Uh, he goes, "Well, you're the new adventurers they send." I have to say, you're more entertained than the last ones. At this point, Micah stops and glances over at Joe before glancing over at the one different looking mummy. Do you see what I see, Joe? Oh, I see it. Are Vagan um, also able to see yep. at this point? Yeah. They should be. Yeah, everybody's clear, right? I'm, I'm sure. Right. I'm sure I'm not stunned anymore, off. right? <laughs> no, you're not stunned um, at all. Okay, at this point, then I'm just gonna unfurl my <laughs> wings and just kind of play because I'm an eagle now, a giant eagle. My <laughs> wings are just gonna unfurl outwards and like just kind of look like I'm at the fucking ready to take off at any point. Yeah. To which Micah turns around and just. Kicks him lightly. Hey, yo. You good? <laughs> you wanna... You wanna get in this? There's a, uh, there's quite a couple of things around us, homie. <laughs> hey, you might wanna turn back into an owlbear. I, I whisper, I may have a plan if you trust me still. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how you had to put that there. It's like, he's, I have a plan not, if you he's trust not, me. He's, <laughs> not, he's not responding to anyone. He's just focusing on the dude that's talking and clapping. 
uh, as you guys like Joe your eyes like an eyebrow. Yeah, as you guys adjust like your eyesight kind of adjusting, uh, you actually kind of see what this looks like, and it looks kind of like this where you're in right now. Oh so you are in the tomb, the actual tomb, and his treasure is all around. Okay. Uh, can I pull out a necklace and say something and see what happens? Yes. So I pull out a necklace that I have on my neck and I say, uh, Humo Gwegwai Fighty Sal, and wait for to see if there's a reply. No. <laughs> Right, I pull the second necklace and say, uh, Liberate Tutume ex infieris. The mummy lord comes towards you. Oh, oh boy. Uh, Micah immediately drops a little bit lower. <laughs> Fists out. <laughs> Watching this thing. I. Continue to hold out the necklace, and I say, "Exi spiritus immunde ab homine." It keeps coming. It keeps walking closer and closer to you. Uh, I'll continue um, to hold the necklace and say, "In omnia paratus." <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna go through all of these, aren't you? <laughs> I know what you're doing. <laughs> um. I think Joe at this point is also clenching his shield and his uh, mace a little uh, tighter. As he as he gets he gets to a certain after the last one he gets like, he gets, he stops where he's at. You think it works, and he goes Atarath Tusama. Everyone needs to make me a DC sixteen Constitution saving throw. Oh jeez, <laughs> D- DC sixteen Const- Constitution. Uh, God damn it. Eight. Oh wait! As a reaction, can I cast guidance? Um, yes, you can. On... Just as a side note, remember y'all had advantage on your you next have, two rolls. Have yeah, you, you do have advantage on your next two oh, rolls. Wait, no, no, I have it. I won't use guidance then. Okay. Ha! <laughs> you guys do have. Uh, do I just click on that the <laughs> C O N right on yep. the saving throw one? Yep. I got fucked. Um, how do so, you how do you use the bonus? Fuck. Uh, you just roll twice to take the higher one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use... Wouldn't matter. Guidance probably right. still wouldn't even help me. <laughs> I'm wow. fucked. Uh, oh. you, you can roll again. Yeah. It's DC 16. So you can roll again and take the higher one. Uh, theoretically, hey. could I just throw a spell out here for the rolls? Uh, no, you cannot, because after he utters those words, and I'm looking at this, everyone failed... Uh, Diggle, you can uh, re- you can roll again. One more? Diggo. Yeah, you can roll again. No! Everyone failed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are stunned as a blasphemous word comes out of his mouth. Fuck. <laughs> oh, wait. No one. Um. <laughs> Which one was it? I thought I was wearing something for that. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe not. Nope, that's for disease. Yeah, stun. There's you probably don't Dang have anything it. for this uh, uh, stun. No. Alright, so he stuns everyone, so you guys are staying still where you're at. Uh, he goes, you are entertaining, but pathetic. You are not worthy of my treasure I was inside my tomb. Gods, take care of them. And he walks back up to, like, his where his tomb is, there's also, like, a throne he's sitting on. So he's walking, like, over there. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna roll some initiatives. Uh, you're gonna be knocked out of your get out of your stun, and uh, some mummies are gonna attack you. Uh, uh okay, can I say something to him as he walks away? Yes, you can. Your your wife sends her regards. Oh, he he like he puts up his middle <laughs> finger as he walks away. <laughs> 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 
She's not dead, you know. You got a nine. Uh, what do I need to roll? So oh, what do we need to roll? We're going to roll initiative. As you guys are doing this, uh, hey, Foxy, it seems like they might need help. <laughs> yeah. So oh, as you me? guys are being, like coming out of your stun this and is, these, these mummies. what we get. Yeah, and the mummies are coming out of you. Uh, a hooded figure also comes down the hole here to help you. <laughs> yes. Is, is it our good it's friend? It's our Ed? knight. Oh, uh, you do have nope. the knight as well. I forgot the double Ed is still there the too. The knight, yeah. But, the, yeah, someone else, the... someone else is coming to help you as well. <laughs> Wait, what am I rolling? Oh my god. Uh, initiative. Initiative. So let me get Where is that at? I put uh, it in the right... group chat. In the center. Yep. That's what y'all see. Top center. Oh. <laughs> Uh, do you have a uh, token for me as well? Um, I didn't make oh. a token, but I did send you the art. Yep, I can make it up real quick. Okay. And then, yeah, you can just roll your initiative <laughs> as, yeah. 15. Cool. This was all part of my plan. Don't worry. Sure. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> You're just going to get you're... some angry squawks. But, but you, you rolled the wrong one. Look, wasn't I it? Think. Wasn't it initiative? That's intelligence. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. My Initiative's bad. in the very middle of your page, right underneath proficiency at the top. Yeah. Uh, what color you want, Fox? Oh. Real quick. Sorry. Purple. Cool. I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I mean, come on. Wasn't much better, but there's my initiative roll. <laughs> Sorry. See what my plan was. 10, 15, 21. Finally, your dexterity coming in clutch for you, sweetie. <laughs> right? Fuck, dude. See, I, I was hoping the mummy would know one of my ancient languages. Apparently, his ex wife lied to me, or I guess his wife. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was going to just, uh, you know, ask the emotional <laughs> door and just grab somebody and rock. Wait, Bull, what's right next to me? Who is that? Is that the that's the knight? I have to make a, yeah, I have to make him bigger because apparently God, for, got, some, oh, no. for some reason his his toke is so small. Right. Heck yeah, Foxy's in. <laughs> yeah, as a knight, a cute one too. No, knight, not I'm as not a knight. the knight. Oh, you're not the knight. Wait, is that our? Wait, who that's, are you? That's, that's, that guy is uh, our good friend. I'm the, the cloaked figure that came to help. Oh, that came out of nowhere. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm getting their token ready real quick. Uh, I think I, I like, posted I posted my character art in the group chat. I would like to ask our <laughs> new friend: Did his uh, wife send you? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's Fox. I will take that as a no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, so Bedhead, what did you get for initiative? As I'm adding, four. Uh, I got a four. <laughs> okay, we're we're starting off great for initiative. Nice job, guys. Yep. Uh, vague. Ten. I mean, you know, the, the mummies might just roll real bad. Uh, Nico. Hey. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. There we go. Twenty-one. Wait, didn't we have an extra another? Uh, advantageous roll, or am I wrong? Uh, yes, you do have another advantageous roll mm -hmm. if you want to use it. Okay. Uh, oh. So... Well, I got a nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, Fox Joe's roll didn't take, by the way. It did. Yeah. Uh, hold on. It was a four, right? <laughs> yep. Wow, big. What a waste! Yeah. Your extra. Like, what'd you get? A five. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so right. still a ten. Still a ten. Uh, Fox, you said you had got a 15? Yes. Okay, and then I'm going to roll for the knight. The great knight double-edged gets a 13. Cool. Now I got to roll for every mummy. <laughs> uh, one mummy. Two mummy. Three mummy. Four mummy. Five, uh, this should be six. That's the mummy lord, I think. That's the mummy lord that you just. Oh, 
Now the mummy lord is not going to be doing that, so he's not participating just yet. Let me find his uh, oh, this one. Get rid of that one. Cool. There's the order. Hey, Nico, you get to go first. Okay. Did you get so, all six of them? I believe I did. If not, we'll find out. <laughs> okay. How far are these guys from us? Since uh, we're in the, I'm guessing we're dead center. Yeah, you're dead center. The closest one is 30 feet. Or 20 feet is the closest one to you. 20? Yep, 20 feet. What's the one behind us? Uh, the one behind you is 40. And the one below you is another 25. So technically, this one right here would be the closest one. Can I go to the one behind us, the farthest one? Sure. Um, okay, so how does this work for the bonus actions and actions? Like how, like okay. the reactions to these? So basically, your turn is a uh, prize of like three actions. You have mm -hmm. your you have your standard action, so that if that's like attacking, casting a spell, interacting with uh, some items, cost of action, that's be the action, right? You have your move, mm -hmm. which is like moving, and then yeah. you have a bonus action. And usually, a lot of classes do something on like on their bonus action. So for your case, like a monk. You can do like a flurry of blows or an extra attack or like there's some other stuff you can do for your bonus action. So in your case, you can be like, cool, I want to do my, I want to attack first and then I want to do a bonus action to do flurry of blows and do two more attacks. Something like that. When I attack, I do that walking speed of 45, right? Yes. So you have, you have a walking speed of 45. So technically you have five more movement if you want to use it for any reason. You can, so you yeah. can move, attack. Or and then do a bonus action. So you still have a, a t an action and a bonus action left. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and hit that one um, okay. with the... Um... So, yeah, if you look under your uh, attack tab, so you can mm -hmm. use your, you have your unarmed strike, your brawler strike, you can use one of those. Go for the, straight for that brawler strike. Okay, so you hit that plus eight. Mm, plus eight. For dex? Uh, yeah, for hit. Where it says, like, brawler strike is plus eight. You're going to hit for oh, your, oh, I'm stupid. For your Thank attack. You. No, you're good. <laughs> so that's a five, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no, that's not a five. Did not roll? Mm -mm. 16. I, rolled. 16. I got a 16. Cool. Mine's did not update. So 16 hits. Uh, can I also just do a bonus action? Uh, you can roll your da roll your damage first, and then you can do your bonus action after. So the damage is that one to the left or to the right? The bludgeoning. Yep. So it's like right after the plus eight, the one oh. to the right of it. That's your uh, damage. Five still not bad. <laughs> so you do five damage to this thing. Okay, cool. Uh, I and believe you have a second attack actually. So you. I do have a second attack. So you can him again. Perfect. Let's do another Brawler Strike. Okay. 15 hits. So you hit that, uh, the damage dice again. For six damage. Very nice. And then you can, uh, you have your bonus action. So you do like a flurry of blows, which is another two attacks. You can just do another attack if you want, if you don't want to use your key. Or you can do, I think it's like Patience step or step of the wind to just give yourself uh, yeah, Nico's monk. She's monk rogue. Yeah, monk rogue. Oh, okay. That's why I'm, mm -hmm. I thought you were full rogue. Nope. Mm -hmm. So you can, do, uh, can you can do two more attacks. You can do one more attack. You can basically give yourself uh, How much key do I have again? Uh, six. Uh, six right six, now. Right? Yep. Six points of key. Where is it at? Uh, oh, I see it now. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and do a flurry and then I can basically do yep. I have to? So you just uh, hit your attack two more times. So you get two more attacks. Uh, hit my attack twice more. The unarmed, right? Yep, the unarmed strikes. That hits. For another. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Go, okay. You can do some damage here. <laughs> and you got one more attack. 
That was almost a crit. Uh, yeah, they hit some... <clears throat> so the goblin goes manic and uh, starts just, just wailing on this mummy in the back. Uh, what's everyone else doing? <laughs> uh, I'm just going crazy in the back. I don't know what I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I, I just have a side stunned? glance and I'm like that no, you're, uh, once it comes to your turn your stun's off okay uh, so Foxy your character comes down sees they're surrounded by mummies the mummy lord has walked back to their their uh, throne waiting to see what happens mm -hmm. what are you doing Um, these two on the right how close are they to each other Uh, on the right the bottom right here uh, they are... Eh, they're, well, that they're, was not there. That's the mummy ward still. Oh. You know what? Let, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Uh, hold on. Put them a little in the corner? No, I'm not. Yeah, I was going to put them in the corner. We're going to put the mummy ward in the cart. There you go. Uh, no, the, so, the two are like on the right side. So these guys are here. Uh, they're 25 okay. feet apart. Okay. Um... Let me double check their radius on this. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Mind you, Micah's doing this happily. <clears throat> There's blood going everywhere, and it's yeah. not hers. I'm just saying, this is <laughs> the best. She's having a blast. The only the only difference okay. is um, the blood is black and not red. Yep. Um, Parker is going to pull a bright orange and red bead off of her necklace uh -huh. and throw it in like right in between and like very slightly behind those mummies did you get um did you did you get a a necklace of fireball uh-huh okay what's the <laughs> <laughs> what's the same poor bulldog uh, say 15 cool hold on let me roll it uh, that's a fail. That's a fail for all your damage. <laughs> Actually, also, I need to check something with the mummy. <laughs> Aren't they... Yep, they're vulnerable to damage, so everything's doubled. <laughs> they take 16 damage each, so 32 each. Great. Uh, you see a fireball go off, everyone. What the dog doing? <laughs> what the... Wow. What the dog doing, indeed? How you doing, Dreams? <laughs> what the dog doing? <laughs> what the dog doing? What the dog doing? Who are you? <laughs> uh, so yeah, these uh, these are on fire. Oh fuck! Okay. <laughs> Joe, do not use <laughs> gazing. I don't Please have it. I don't. I didn't get no, it. You, no, you did. Yeah, you, you got it. I did. Get the entrance. Okay. All right. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Sorry. So this Do mummy... not take that out. <laughs> there is no need right uh, So I anything swear. else you would like to do on your turn, Foxy? Uh, oh, I have plans for the endless water, but that's later. Let me see. I think my only... Yeah, um, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark okay. on the one that's closest to me. So the one, one that I attacked that's closest to me. Okay, cool. So this one right here? Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Alright. It's one of the mummy's turns. i put that up there. Uh, it okay. is going to move up to Big Ed and attack. Alright. Uh, it's going to go for a rotting fist. It gets uh, one attack for his rotting fist. <laughs> Uh, 19, I believe, misses, actually. Does that hit? No, that hits. Um, so Big A is going to take 20, 22 damage. So you just hear, uh, uh you hear a boom, and a ooh, coming from uh, oh, Big A. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I need to roll for Big Ed real quick. No, I I don't want to print that. <laughs> I am dying watching this. Uh, what is he happening? He, sa he saves. All right, so Big Ed's like, like he just like gets hit. It's like, 
Uh, he tries to go like come back on his turn, like come at, come at, swing. He's gonna swing his sword. He gets two attacks. Misses on the first one. Hits on the second one for thirteen. Huge gaping uh, hole has been created in this mummy right here. Uh, mummy number two. Uh, this one is coming after you, uh, Casey. Okay. Um, it's also going to get its rotting flesh. 24. That hits. For, uh, that is 24 damage. And I need you to make me a DC 12 constitution save. <sighs> Eat. <laughs> oh. Okay. Vaguely. What does that mean? <laughs> okay. I would like to cast. Uh, I'm glad to hear you're doing good dreams. Infernal calling. Okay. So what do I need to do now for that? Uh, I need to look at that spell because it's been a while since I've seen that spell. All right. What does Infernal Calling say? Uh, uttering a dark incantation, you summon a devil from the nine hells. You choose a devil's type, which must be CR6 or lower. And it appears in unoccupied space within range. So I'm summoning a devil. Okay, cool. Um, is this devil helping you? <laughs> yes. Great. Great okay. question. Uh, that, um, that con save doesn't count as a skill check does it no it does not okay i'm uh, assuming a pit fiend would be fine pit fiend yeah that could be good weird devil you say cr6 right yeah i don't know what cr is for a pit fiend so that's why i was asking no nah, i got i got you i got you i got you we're we gonna get you a good devil don't worry uh, I'm just going to step out for a quick bathroom break really fast. I'll be right yeah. back. No problem. Take your time. Uh, yeah, this won't do it. It's, a, it's one CR higher, but it's good. Uh, it's going to be right there. What a white Abishai. I could have done one. Uh, we could have done that, but I said, yeah, you know what? Let's, I, haven't, I haven't used one of these in a while. All right, so a devil has made his appearance in this fight. Confused, carrying a heavy flail and a bunch of rage in his soul. <laughs> nice. Uh, anything else you would like to do? Uh, what are my options? Uh, I believe that spell is your action, right? Um, so let me just... Because um, on your um in the actions tab, there's another one right underneath it that says bonus action. Yeah, and that'll tell you if you have anything you can do. <laughs> no, uh, I mean you no. can miss you can misty step the fuck out if you want. <laughs> okay, let's let's do misty step. <laughs> so mm. you're two level spells. Oh, is Infernal calling a level spell? It might be a level spell. Yeah. Okay. No. So you can't do misty uh, step. Uh, it doesn't look like you can do anything except maybe move out the way since you just summoned the devil. I guess that could help. I don't know where you're going. But just out of curiosity, what is the what is the mummy's dex? The mummy's a dex. Oh, you do have a DM question. Dexterity. Yeah, I have 15. So should I be going before those two mummies or? Uh, let me check. I think you are going before those two mummies, actually. There you go. <laughs> I just noticed that my brain was just like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, vague summon the devil, uh, and now, uh, what? Huh? We're, uh, we're uh, gonna <laughs> see what's uh, what's gonna happen next. Wait, <laughs> is the devil I planned ahead for this? Is the devil on our side? Sure. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I need to look at the spell. Uh, sure, I believe so. Is it legal to throw an item to another player as a reaction? Yeah, you can. You want to throw an item? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. throw a uh, veteran's cane to Nico. Cool. So Nico has a veteran's what? 
A veteran's cane. When you grasp this walking cane and use a bonus action to speak the command word, it transforms into an ordinary longsword and ceases to be magical. Who are you think who are you giving it to? You. Me? Yep, yeah. you're getting it. Oh. Okay. Also, uh hey Veg. Uh this uh this uh devil is unfriendly to you. <laughs> to me alone or everybody? <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I had to roll your yeah. favor for it as it, well. It does say that in the spell. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it attacks who's ever closest, so I wanted to drop it right next to the mummy. It's close to a mummy. Uh, well, it's close to a big ad, actually. Oh, God. Uh, I'll put it, like, right here. It'll, it'll have to decide who it wants to attack. Um, I mean, the range is 90 feet. So yeah, can... I was, I was oh, going to drop what? it between okay. those two mummies. Yeah, we can do that. We'll put it right here. All right. Um, I'll I'll give it a turn before it actually acts. So oh, that's fine. Yeah. So is is your turn now? Oh, okay. No, I, I'm saying it's got seventy sickness right now. It's confusing. Oh yeah, no, it, no, it no, I figured as much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It don't know what the fuck's going on. I just got some. It's like what the fuck. <laughs> um, so I'm assuming I saw this even while I'm stunned, right? I saw all this happening. Yes. I'm immediately going to turn, look over at fucking vague and Joe. Uh, and I'm just gonna shake my bird head as I'm going to. I'm gonna dart forward towards the knight. Okay. Talon out. Talon's out, and I'm gonna try and grab at the mummy that attacked the knight. Okay. And then fly up with it. Sounds good. Do you need me to make like a acrobatics or uh just strength skill check? Or just a strength a, check. Yeah, strength check against the mummy. Strength check to see if he can withstand <laughs> being um uh picked up. Okay, I'm gonna. Actually, which one is higher for you, strength or athletics? Uh, strength or dex? Or dex no, is athletics. Oh, athletic. Yes. Uh, so your skill basically. Oh, athletics is my. My athletics is a plus one. My my acrobatics is a plus six. Okay, that's, we can do that then. Asking. Yeah, we can do that then. That's fine. You can do acrobatics. acrobatics. Yeah, acrobatics. Either athletics or acrobatics, whatever one you want. And that would be using the. Um, eagles yep. strength. Yes, oh. which is plus three. Okay, so the that would be a uh, a thirteen. Thirteen. All right, and the mummy grabs a nineteen. So you get your talents on him, but you, he's like he's withstanding him. Uh, you pulling him up. <laughs> So you you got to grab, but you can't lift him. He's like trying, like he's like trying to bring you down with him. Mm. Uh, yeah. Anything else you would like to do? There we go. Anything else? <laughs> Um, take a look at some stuff real quick. Yep, take your time. It's a big combat, and I threw step, six mummies at you. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. It's okay. No, no, no. That's fine. I just realized how close I am to this devil. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Monica yeah. keeps eyeing this devil. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, junk, I'm not even. <laughs> uh, and I whisper, the activation phrase for the cane is El Kabong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I forgot I have that. Oh my god. I keep forgetting you threw something at me. Okay. Um I mean since I still do have his fucking my I have a free talon, so um yeah. Like attack it with your talons? Was that my was that my action or I said that was your bow's action? Okay, then yeah, I'll just make a multi attack, which is a, an attack with talons and beaks. Yep. So Go ahead. that's gonna be plus five on both of those. I'll just roll a D twenty. Yep, and I'm going to move your character over here. Also, I realized my... 17? 17 hits. For the... That's for the beak first. Uh, and then it's a 1d6 plus 3. For... 6 damage with the beak. All and right. then... A Talon... 
Does a 12 hit? 12 hits, barely. Or sorry, that's 10, my bad. Ooh, 10 misses. Yeah, okay, that's fine then. Okay. Hoka doke. A uh, bunch of mummies go. Where is this mummy? Uh, Micah, this one's going to be attacking you. Okay. Uh, so he gets, uh, it gets his fist and goes, pow, your face. Uh, I believe 13 misses, though. <laughs> All right. Next okay. mummy. Uh, this is going towards you, Joe. And it's going to go pow right in the face. 24. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> does a 24 hit you, Bedhead? Um, I might have to roll nope. for that. What's nope. your armor class? Oh, uh, my armor is a 21. Okay, so it barely hits you. Uh, you are going to take. Uh, 22 damage. Does that armor number, uh, is the shield that I'm wielding or holding on to yeah, it uh, should, play into the effect of the armor class? Yeah, it should be calculated as well. It should be. Uh, okay. cl click on where it says armor class and I think it'll pop up and tell you like what all your numbers are from. Okay, yep, it's calculated in there. Got yep. it. So uh, you're going to take 22 damage off of your max HP, or uh, your HP. So the first number. Okay. All right. Uh, and then I need you to make me a DC 12 constitution save. Hang on. So my current HP, how do I change? Yeah, your current, uh, so yeah, your current hit points. Yeah, hit points at the top. Click on hit points, and then you can put 22 in the damage box. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then apply dance. changes. <clears throat> Got it. Okay. And then you wanted me to do what now? Uh, constitution, right? Yeah, okay. Roll on that. I believe so. Bull. Uh, 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 uh -oh. I can't believe uh -oh. my phone, was, phone was going off. I was trying to like mute it. <laughs> so what was the question? Oh, uh, I rolled my. Uh, okay, what was your sorry? What was your roll? Um, an eighteen. Okay, uh, you're fine. 18. Cool, you're fine. All right. So, uh, that's that mummy. Next mummy. Uh, this one is going up to Foxy. Foxy. Okay. This mummy's going to try to punch you. Okay. Uh, uh, well, it's, it's going to fish you. It's because it's a rotting fist. It's going to fish you. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. All right. All it's, right. It's eight. Uh -huh. It misses. No, no, Things no, are not, spicing not, up. Not by a mummy, please. <laughs> it misses. Uh, you know. You oh, know. Man. That sounds uh, painful. There's like bones and shit. Vague. This one's coming Don't forget the you. cloth. Uh, <laughs> can I use my entropic word? Uh, I believe that's reaction. Yeah. Yeah. What is, uh, it say? Does is, Once is it for short rest when a creature makes an attack roll against you? You can use your reaction to post disadvantage on that roll. If yes, you can. You, okay. I want to so, use that. Okay. So I will roll. It has disadvantage on this. It completely misses no matter what. <laughs> Okay. So, Joe, it's your turn. A mummy is in your face. Okay. Um. Uh, if I wanted to use a uh, channel of divinity, you just use it. That's your action. Right. Okay. So, how do I? Uh, what, is, what does your child divinity say? What does it do? As an action, you can imbue a weapon with positive energy for one minute. This weapon is considered magical. You add plus one to attack rolls. It emits yep. bright so light when you, for 20 feet. Yep, so basically okay. when you attack, you add plus one to your the toll. Okay. Um, so I would like to do uh, two things. 
uh, in my inventory, I have a potion of the Frost Giant Strength. Okay. And I would like to use that. Okay. I um, have one charge on it. So how do I apply that? This is, uh, I think, if I read that right, it increases my strength to 23. Yep, I can, I just can, yep, I can fix that for you. So your strength goes up to a twenty three. Twenty three for one hour. Yep, I will. It is it's, that's completely fine. So uh, okay. Joe is now a buff. Um, so he says twenty three. Yes. Okay. And during this, uh, like I'm about to make my attack after consuming this potion, um, do I have to? Uh, or if I wanted to say instead, uh, like dual wield is one of my actions. Uh, I think I'm I'm capable of doing that. So for dual wielding is basically uh, you would if you you've already used your action a bonus action, but your next turn you would basically one you do one attack with your one action, and on your bonus action you do another attack with another oh, okay. with a so, with a sec with the second weapon if you had two weapons. Okay. Oh. okay. Well, I'll, I'll just skip that for now. Okay. Um, okay, so I want to attack the mummy that punched me in the face. Uh, yes. Um, and I am going to go ahead and uh, use my evasive warning and attack it. Okay, so you'll get a plus one to this because of your channel divinity. Okay, so I rolled this, right? Yep. 22. 22 hits. Uh, and then I'm going to roll the damage side for the 5. So. Oh, uh, refresh your sheet real quick. Because I made changes to it. Okay, refreshed. Yeah, okay. and, and you do your. A your straight should be a twenty three now. So re-roll your attack. <laughs> Dang it! Watch me get a lower no. Twenty three? Huh? I'll take that. Yep. Okay. And then you do your uh, your damage. This. Oh my. It's Twelve damage. Voice. <laughs> All right. Uh, slightly you, different. Slightly different. Yeah. <laughs> as you batter this thing in the head. <laughs> All right. So what is that? That's twelve points of damage straight for twenty three. So yeah, so twenty three to hit for twelve points of damage. Yeah. All right, nice. Nico, back to you. Yes. You were clawing at this thing. You were tearing it apart. What would you like to do? Um. I actually was wondering. Um, it's an action if I basically take something from my inventory, right, and use it. Yes. Okay. How do I use this bag of tricks? Let's go ahead and bring out a baby. Of course. Uh, yeah. which, which bag of tricks do you have again? I just have a bag of tricks. Okay, we it's have an to... ordinary bag. Yeah. Okay, I had to. I had to figure out what color your bag of tricks is. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> so you're gonna pull out. Uh, should, you're gonna there pull could out be a... gray, rust, or tan. Yeah. We'll do tan. Why not? Yeah, let me okay, let me get the tan bag. Uh roll me a D eight real quick. Just a D eight? Yep, just a D eight. Black bear. So a black <laughs> bear appears out of the out of the, uh, out of the bag. So you you search around the bag, you feel something fluffy, you say, Oh, I I want this. And you throw out a black bear. Uh, hold on one second. <laughs> Not the seat. So this creature is friendly to us all, by the way. Yes. Before anybody attacks it, it is friendly to us. Yes. The hey, black did bear we ever summon friendly. our free creatures? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Uh, <laughs> they can be good or bad. Yeah. Yeah. And one's about to show up very soon. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, I believe the black bear is large, if I remember correctly. No, it's medium size. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there's a black I... bear. 
there's a black bear. Can I throw that black bear 20 feet in front of me? Sure. It's kind of towards the middle. So that uh, black bear over here? I think so, yeah. Okay. So yeah, there is a, uh, there's a black bear now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Rooker jumped like a couple inches in the air. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to just say it goes on your turn, so it'll attack. I'll attack one of the enemies on your turn. Um, so, okay. uh, anything else? That's your action. Anything else you would like to do? Uh, is there, do I have one more action? Uh, no. So, when you're using uh, an item from your bag, that's your whole action there. That's my whole action? Okay. okay. So, yeah, you, so still then... have your, you still have your move and your bonus actions. Okay. So, let me go ahead and... Um... Uh, let's just go ahead and just do a bonus action. Okay. Uh, and let me just... Let me just, uh... Let me flurry blows this guy again. Yep, so make two attacks against him. So that's just unarmed, right? Does it matter which one? Yeah, it's just I think it was unarmed, right? Yeah, it doesn't. It honestly doesn't matter. It's either you're unarmed or the tavern brawl. They're the same. They're the same thing. Uh, 19 hits. 19. For nine damage. Yeah, you're beating the shit out of this thing. Uh, and then you got one more attack. 18 hits. Four, eight. All right, Foxy. Okay, I want to hit the damaged one with my rapier. Yep, go ahead. 23 to hit. That definitely hits. Okay, and it is... Um... Yes, uh, Hunter's Mark. Yeah. That's the one that I was trying to say. I, I was about to say Hex. I was like, nope, yeah. wrong class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's going to take 25 points of damage. How do you kill and, it? And uh, chop its head off. So... Basically, your uh, hooded figure comes, is fighting one of the mummies, slices the head off, it goes flying in the air. You see, like, the it's just like in slow motion out in the, um, out in the darkness. <laughs> Wait, how much health did it have? It had like it had like 25. Okay, because that was actually only 21. <clears throat> I added an extra four that I shouldn't have. Oh, okay. Well, you're about to chop off his, his head, so it's at yeah. uh, it's at three, it's at four. That's four, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it like it's like its head's like barely hanging on right now. Yeah. Okay. So second attack on the same one. That kills it. To hit. That kills it. Yeah, that one's yeah. It's, they, it's dead now. So the first one, you <laughs> you you imagine it's like oh the slice is gonna like just clean cut his head off. It gets almost there. You're like dang it, and you have to chop again. And it like goes rolling off. Yep. Uh, Veg catches the uh, skull mid air and sticks it into her pack. Of course. <laughs> All right. Anything Absolutely else you'd like to no do? reason whatsoever. Not panic, fellow troops. Um, I'm going to hit the other one that's all up in my face. Okay. And that is going to be a lot to hit. That hits as well. <laughs> um, and it takes. Hold on. Yeah. Not get the hunter smart because I haven't used it yet. Yeah. Or I haven't moved it, but it does get. Seven. Uh, seven points of uh, piercing and seven points of radiant. Cool. All right. Um, next, a mummy, and then something's going to happen after this mummy's turn. Uh, this mummy is going to attack. Well, it's going to attack the the giant eagle that's attacking it. 
Um, so it's going to fist because all it knows is fist. Why, <laughs> Why do you say it like? Because it keeps I keep seeing rotting fist up here. Its attack is called That's rotting. Not... All right, so the mummy's gonna fist the eagle. Yes. Hey yo. And, uh, does How do you feel I'm about that? Eighteen doesn't what hit. Kind of bird it calls are you making with this. <laughs> all right. So uh, <laughs> the bird got scared, jumped out of the way. After this one, you hear um, a booming voice come from the throne. It says, "Enough!" And as that happens, the mummies themselves that are still up turn to dust. What? What? Oh no! It's about to be a boss fight. <laughs> The mummy lord looking <sighs> quite disappointed that his servants could not uh, take care of you. Basically does the whole I'll do it myself and stands up from his throne. Oh my gosh. Can you please say it in a Thanos manner? I'll do it please. myself. Uh, no, yeah. can, <laughs> there you go. I will end you myself. All there right. we go. So. Enough. <laughs> All right. So we're we did move. hear clapping earlier. Too bad the clapping couldn't have been clicking of the finger. No, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I, all right. <laughs> all right. So get the mummy lords sheet now. Rolling for him. Um, I have a question. Yep. Uh, during this time while he's talking, is there any like. I'm assuming there's no downtime, but there is there moments for quick actions or anything like that? No. Like, okay. It's like, all right. Can't heal ourselves or drink a potion or anything like that. No, not real. So, um, who was it? You can, um, you, you do bonus action for taking a potion though, right? Yeah. On their turn. Yeah. So, so so when it's your turn, you can use your bonus action to take a potion. So, okay. it is the knight's turn. I'm just going to stay in order. Um, the knight is... Big guy is going to run at this um, this mummy lord. Um, basically going to charge at him. Uh, he gets about right there. Uh, and then collapses. What? How oh. did this happen? Nightman, get up. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, no. Hey, it is the devil's turn. Hey, uh, Veg, you need to give it an order, and I need to run uh, to see okay. the, if he's gonna, uh, if they're gonna oh, no. actually uh, do that order. Obey. Uh, at- attack the mummy lord. Kill him. Bring his soul. <laughs> okay, let me uh, roll something real quick. <laughs> uh, let's see. Infernal call. Here it is. <laughs> Each turn, you need to give blah blah blah. Uh, you uh, otherwise you must make a charisma. So you need to make a deception, intimidation, or persuasion check. Uh, contested by its insight. So what are you telling you? All right, how are you going to get this devil to do what you wanted to do? Could, could, could I use history because I know the history of uh, the underworld as a tracker now? Uh, no. <laughs> oh. Damn. Nice try, though. So, so what should I roll then? So you either you're gonna either uh, do deception to lie to it, uh, intimidate it, or persuade it. Whichever is higher for you. Persuade is plus three. Deception. Is so it's up to you. How do you ever want to do this? Try deception. Okay. Twenty good enough? Let's find out. I need to it has I need to roll against its insight and it has a plus ten. What? <laughs> yeah. So what did you roll? Twenty. Twenty. So mm-hmm. I need I need to be if I beat a twenty with it. It's going to do something not what you told it to do. <laughs> <laughs> it crit. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry, fellow adventurers. I have a contingency. Micah stare. Micah literally just glances at Albert, glances at fucking Vig, glances at Joe. Just glances. Glances. <laughs> now, where's his devil standing at? Right so, next to uh, me. Bye, yeah. So great. So great. It, it was, <laughs> so it's it was confused, and he's like attacked the mummy lord, and it looks around, and goes like, "What the fuck did you bring me into? Hell, is this sand? Is this fucking? Oh hell! <laughs> he's not nah, nah, nah. Anakin Skywalker. And he's like and he uh, and he comes up to you. I uh, he goes, hey, "We're gonna have a little chat." Can the devil be have the same voice as a uh, Rygar's elk moose? Oh hell no, 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 man! We ain't doing this. <laughs> and uh, he uh, he's a, he says, "Ah, oh, no, no, man! We have a couple. We have a chat. Uh, you get teleported out with the devil." <laughs> so Vague's not there right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, can, oh, can I throw no. an item before I go? Yes, you can. <laughs> I'm going to throw my three sticks of dynamite to <laughs> the owlbear. <laughs> oh, 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 to the owlbear. Wait. Wait. Where oh, are you no, he's throwing it at me and I'm currently an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys just see the devil just like angrily go up to Vane's character and go, oh, we gonna have a talk and just like God. <laughs> Has three sticks of dynamite fly at me. <laughs> yep. Okay, uh, Vague, yeah, you're on a little talk. <laughs> so what's the giant eagle gonna do right now? Three sticks of dynamite were thrown at you. Um, well, I, they, they as a free action, lit, can right? I grab them with my talon? Yes, you can. Yep. Okay. They're bundled together. They're tied together. Okay. How long is the how long is the fuse on them? Uh, one uh, to six turns. I'm gonna say two turns. Cool. I'm flying straight up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, oh no! The giant eagle flies straight up with sticks of dynamite. Um, I'm gonna get up to like I'm gonna get back up to the um. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking hate what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna get up to the um uh, back to the entrance. Okay, where we were. I'm going to um. <laughs> fuck me. Oh no. I'm gonna. Pull- Where is it? I have to remember what it's actually fucking called. Um, I'm gonna pull out a tinder box. <laughs> oh god! From my back of holding. So okay, this is happening. All right, we're gonna come back to you. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, I'm a. I'm also gonna put you down here in the corner as you're no longer there. <laughs> hey, uh, Bedhead, uh, it's Joe's turn. <laughs> A lot has just happened. Uh, <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Absolute. <laughs> I I still have one creature to show, and I was like, "What am I going to show this this uh, this creature?" Um. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> I need to do. Uh, let's see. Where, 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 where was it? I have... Um... Oh, two creatures. Oh, they're, they're coming at the same time. Oh, okay. Um, so, if I, so, okay, that's considered an action. Crap. Uh, where is it? Oh, um, how do I go about doing my uh, my sneak attack? Uh, you need to uh, attack it while you have advantage on the creature. So it can see me right now. Uh, yes, it can see. You. It can see you. Yes. Okay, so I can't can't use a sneak attack. Um. You know, this is going a lot worse than I thought it was going. I'm just gonna be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. 
Yeah, Micah, Micah's looking around like, what is happening? Things are disappearing. Micah, literally, the whole team is disappearing. <laughs> one by one. Oh. Um, so, is it possible to use one of my bonus actions, the insightful fighting, which states that I can see that isn't incapacitated, contested by the target's deception check. If you succeed, you can use your sneak attack against that target, even if you don't have the advantage on the attack roll. Yes, you can. But not if you have the disadvantage on it for one minute until you use this feature. Okay. So how do I do that? So if I use insightful fighting... I believe it says you need to roll a deception. Hold on, let me let me bring it up real quick for you. Insightful as a bonus action. Yeah, you need to make an inside check uh, against the creature that can uh, that can see you. So just make an inside check. As so that's the yeah. You roll you roll insight and I roll its deception, basically. Okay, so in. Insight is the int, right? Yeah. Uh, no, no, so no. Your, no, 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 no. In your skills, uh, uh, and towards the mm -hmm. middle, it's uh right yep. under history. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. All right, I have a plus eight there. Yep. I'm so gonna you're go gonna ahead roll and roll that. Yep. You tell me what you get. So I rolled a nineteen. Okay, and I need to roll its uh, deception, which it doesn't. So I have to roll charisma, and if I can't beat it, you get a sneak. You'll be able to get sneak attack on. I rolled a 13. So you get stick okay. attack on. So you need to make a so, so if you make it the neck when you make an attack on them, you'll get to do sneak attack damage. Okay, so the sneak attack is uh once per turn you can deal extra 2d6 mm -hmm. damage to the creature when Okay. Yep. But I would like to go ahead and do the sneak attack. So, so it's just a regular attack. Yeah. So you and then you add in the, the extra yeah. damage. If you hit, you'll yeah. add in the extra damage. Yes. Okay. Um. All right. I'll go ahead and use this. So twenty-seven. Twenty-seven hits. And this. For twelve. Twelve. Woo! Wow. And then I have to roll a... 2d6. At the bottom. Mm -hmm. So 2d6. And which... So at the very bottom, mm -hmm. you'll see yep, the damage is 2d6. Yeah. Where's the... Oh, so the 2 doesn't... Okay, so it's just the one that says d6. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, doesn't he just click on the damage button? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, for your insight on your thing, there's just something that says stink attack. Just hit that. It already has 2d6 up there for you. In so, uh, on your, you under where your attacks are, or your actions. So, you click on yeah. attack. Yeah. So it, and then uh, you can roll all the way down. Yeah. So, you'll uh, see sneak attack. Yeah. Just hit the damage. And then range, hit DC, Got and then it. damage. Yeah. Let's see it. Six. Okay. Not um, bad. Mm -hmm. And then, so that was my bonus action, and then that was my attack. So I can't do anything else, correct? Yeah, you have one more attack. Okay. Um, for my second you don't get, bit there. You don't get I... sneak attack on the second attack. You only get on the first. Right. Can I use something out of my inventory? Uh, no. Because you, you attack, oh. so you're only doing attacks, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So you can't use a potion? No. Mm -hmm. Or anything like that. Okay. All right, so I'll go ahead and just do another attack. All right. A two, 12. Uh, 12 was the attack? Yes. 12 misses. 12 to... Okay. All right, Micah. Uh, shit's happened. You still have your black bear. <laughs> I think that... I guess that did change. Yeah, you still have the well, black bear. I I <laughs> I am confused as fuck. I literally am wiping off blood off of me. Yep. I look around and half the team's half of our fucking team's gone. So, yep. um the black bear, I do have to ask if I decide to use a black bear, it's an action, right? 
Uh, no, it's free action. It's a free action. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's uh, let's have the bear attack. Can I have the bear attack first before me? Yep. Perfect. Let's take that bear and let's just use this little lovely bear of ours. Um, <laughs> it's going to uh bite. And it's going to claw. The claw hits for eight damage. Noise. Noise. Yeah. All right. Perfect. And what would you like um, to do? Um, at this point in time, let's go ahead and shadow step. Okay. Am I able to do that? Yeah, you want to shadow step right next to him? Or... Yup. Right next to our lovely friend. <laughs> uh, perfect. And then at this point, can I use my sneak attack? Uh, technically, yes, you can. On your attack, you'll okay. get a sneak attack because there's an ally within five feet. Perfect. So let's go ahead and just do another. So, un uh, let's. Oh yeah. Your unarmed strike. Yep. You're doing unarmed strike. Yep. Point one hits. For ten. Very nice. And then can and I? Do I roll for that sneak attack? Yes, you do. Perfect. And another five damage. Very nice. Very nice. And then one more? Or no? Y yes, you get another attack. You just don't get the sneak attack on that. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and do a tavern brawler. 22 hits. For eight a damage. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It is money law time. What money law gonna do? Oh boy. Um, Mummy Lord has some fun. Also, Mummy Lord has legendary actions. I forgot about that. Let me look at some real quick. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, forgot he, I forgot he had it. Um, so, legendary actions didn't go off. Uh, oh, do we still have anything on the board as far as like uh, there are any animals or anything like that that are supposed to arrive? Yep. Something's gonna arrive soon. <laughs> They're not. Also, do we have? Uh, do we have any? Um, uh, the what was it? Mm -hmm. The the buff or whatever it was. No, not any more of those. You do have okay. Acid, no, you, no blessings. You you do have acid. The G of a question. Okay. Yeah. Did, did you have not used yet? Uh, let's see. Um, how mean do I want to be right now? Do it. Do uh, it. Absolute right. chaos. Okay, then. Um, I need both you and Bedhead to make me a DC 16 constitution saving throw. Right. DC constitution saving throw? Yep, 16. What is that? And this um, is happening before his turn because it's legendary. That's that's a crit. You're fine. Nice. Um. So, uh, top left on the yeah, where it says under in the saving throw section. The saving throw section. Yep. You do the CLN. Mm -hmm. Twenty two. Of course, it's nice to me. Real <gasps> nice to me. Uh, Bedhead, he whisper, he says the words, and you are stunned for a turn. Great. All right, mm. it's his turn. Uh, I'm stunned. Yeah, you stunned. are stunned. Uh, hey, Nico. Yes. Make me a DC 16 oh. wisdom saving throw now. Oh. Okay. That's the one. That's that's uh that's the one. Uh hey hey Nico. Hey uh Nico, uh you're paralyzed. As you stare into his eyes. He 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 
gazes deeply into your eyes and you come, come and at first you're like oh god i'm i'm terrified i need to run away until you realize uh you you, you can't you're 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 stuck where you're at uh so nico's paralyzed huh. that was just a, that's hey. a bad role <laughs> uh and All right. hey uh hey uh but hey he's gonna he's gonna punch you in the face great which also has advantage yeah which also has advantage uh, What's that mean? I just I roll twice, take the highest. Uh, does twenty two hit you though? Uh, my armor class is twenty one, so, so yes. So you are it going. Hit me. To, you're going to take. Uh, that is thirty nine damage. Holy shnikes! Okay, so I put in the damage thirty nine. Yep. Apply changes. Great. Are I have ten health left. I was about to say, are you still up? <laughs> I'm still up somehow. Uh, can you make me a DC 16 Constitution save? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, he's fucking us up. <laughs> well, that was higher than last time. Yeah. Can, can yeah. I? De- can, I can, can we? Can we save Bedhead? <laughs> Hey, uh, you guys also have a... Uh, I just realized something. You do have a full hill you haven't used yet from other rolls, from the model spells. <laughs> we probably should use it, otherwise Bedhead's just going to explode. I'm going to die. <laughs> I think I'm, stunned. I, I'm fine I'm with using that. Wait, uh, Bulldog, am yep. I stunned for my next turn then? Yep. Or is it just through this... Yeah, so, so I can't even use my no, skill of healing myself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You might want to... You might, what, Let's you go so Benhead just it. kind of mutters out the words, Please help me! <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to activate your full heal? Alright, I will say that that will take away the paralyzed and the uh, stun then. And um, that's for full heal for everybody? Full heal for everybody. So Is even, that including even, our even, knight that's laying on the ground? Uh, no, the knight. No, no, unfortunately, not the knight. Um, but that oh. does affect the uh, the giant eagle and the person who uh, was teleported away from a devil. <laughs> Look, we're having a good conversation about business uh, while playing chess. I'm sure you are. <laughs> uh, Where's this so motherfucking eagle? Austin flames. Where's Foxy the image at? Turn. I'm fine yeah. with this. <laughs> okay, um, I would like to take another bead off my necklace uh-huh. and throw it behind the you mother want, lord so you it want only it, gets him. Yep, that's fine. You can definitely do that. Um, And I this am doing this big. at 8th level. Okay. Uh, What's the save? Uh, 15 dex. Uh, he passes, but he's still going to uh, take full. Because he's vulnerable. 44. 44. He is barely up. Holy cow. Um, um, if my move it's 35, can I get to him? Yes. What can I do? What can I do? I can't use two weapon fighting because I didn't use a weapon attack for my attack, right? Yeah, you can use two weapon fighting. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to stay where I am then. Okay. All right. Oh, but I will uh, move uh, Hunter's Mark onto him. Yep, cool. Sounds good. Uh. Yeah, that's that's gonna go on for a few more rounds with the devil. Don't worry about that. Oh, so what are you? Uh, what's the giant eagle doing with the sticks of dynamite? Yeah, I'm curious. Because <laughs> you don't know what's going on there. You don't. You don't know if they're winning or losing. Yeah, come back. Did they go off? <laughs> did Did they explode? <laughs> He's got we, a tender pouch and temple four. Temple yeah, he's a, yes, you have a tender pouch and three sticks of dive out, Mike. <laughs> I can t- I will tell you right now, it's enough to bring down the the tomb. Oh, <laughs> uh, also, 
Oh, he's muted. So, no, I, I was muted because I was reading something. Oh, yeah. Um, so I have a rough estimation of where everybody was at, right? Yes. Like I knew the mummy word was there that the night would basically yes. got taken out before I took off. Yes. You also probably just saw a huge fireball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, no! Uh, he heard. He, all of he, these heard he heard the explosion. Hear? Yeah. He did not see it. It's too far down for him to see it. So he can't hear us screaming right in agony. Yeah. Fuck is what the fuck is the mummy lord at right now? The HP wise, uh, it's like fucking like nothing. Four. Mm-hmm. Four. It's literally at four. You don't know that though. Mm-hmm. Your character. Oh. Does you not don't know, know that. that. Well, I'm gonna look at the tinder box. Look at the fucking dynamite. Look at the tinder box. Look at the dynamite, and just go off. Oh, fuck it, and then just fall backwards and dive straight back down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. And I'm just gonna descend and swoop straight in on the fucking mummy lord. Talons out. <laughs> All right. So that would be the second turn, right? So the sticks of dynamite are going off. No, he I did not like this. No, thing. he didn't, didn't light, light him. Them. Oh, he didn't light Decided it. Decided against okay. him. <laughs> okay. So uh, you're swooping down as fast as you can. You see, you, you see the Mighty Lord. He's surrounded by your companions. Talents out. What are you going to do? I'm going to swing at him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make two talent attacks instead of a beak and talon, or yeah, do I she, have to do the fucking? No, beak? you can do you can do t- uh, two talents. Okay. So it is so close to being dead. I'm paralyzed, and you don't know it. And fucking <laughs> so is uh, Joe. That's a hit. Yes, no. Fourteen misses. Okay. Yeah, we did. We did heal. Uh, we did. Yeah, so we you guys should be free of that, right? Yes. I was going to say they no, are, okay. they're no longer on their turn. Uh-huh. Twenty-one hit. Right. Twenty-one hits. How do you kill it? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's it's two d six plus three. So I'm assuming I'm just going to descend on this fucker and just rip straight through his chest. <laughs> You you guys are like look at us, buddy Lord. The the giant firework uh fireball goes off. It doesn't kill it. It looks like it's just gonna like just do the same thing as all. And all of a sudden, you just go straight through his chest. The giant eagle out the other end. I'm just gonna skitter across the crowd and like use my wings to turn myself around and look at everyone. I'm just really puzzled. I just look at the giant hole and just like look around like what what happened. <laughs> so as you guys are standing there the tomb begins oh, to no. shake oh no mm. oh no also vague uh you are back uh you have a level three exhaustion don't ask <laughs> why <laughs> uh did i make a deal with the Gang-gang. demon can i roll for having made a deal yes you can Bro, you made something all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get a level three exhaustion like that? Uh-huh. <laughs> chess is a very hard sport in hell. You know that, right? Jeez. But, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Chess, chess. Oh, that's what you were playing on, right? Chess. Yeah, I literally have a chess set in my inventory. Like, mm-hmm. Why did you think I brought that? Yep, mm-hmm. yep. But yeah, so, so roll? Uh, roll me a D100. And I want uh, you're going to say before you roll it is uh, high or low. Uh, probably low. I'll go below 50. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, you, yeah, you made a deal. It was not a good deal, but you made a deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but yeah, the, <laughs> the tomb itself begins to shake as it comes up, as it falls apart. Uh, as you were, uh, looking around trying to see, um, uh, what's going on? You see the corpses of two archaeologists in the corner. Uh, they did not make it, but their bags and materials are on them. Will you be grabbing those? Uh, question? Yep. C- can I grab the uh, mummy's insignia off of his body? Yes, you can. Okay, I want that. Um, Because I'm a little curious fucker. I'm the one who, if, if everyone's okay with it, I... Well, just absolutely, without even asking anybody, just dart for the archaeologist things to try and grab everything. I'm going to start lightly hovering over everyone. Mostly the fucking goblin. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, like, 
grab anything. You're, mm-hmm. uh, I'm guessing, well, someone's like the shiny eagle's flying out. Are you taking the goblin and the talons with you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm going to land for a hot second for the goblet to get on my back, and then okay. I'm going to take the other two in my fucking talons. Okay, you're fine. I don't know about the mysterious cape person. Yeah. But... <laughs> we kind of just glance and it's like, follow uh, me. <laughs> the mysterious cape person like looks around. He's like, my job here is done. A portal opens up, and you just walk through. <laughs> like, what? That's all awesome. right. Okay. <laughs> So all right, okay, okay. A single word. <laughs> nice say, exit, though. <laughs> it was a beautiful entrance and exit, though. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm, 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 ex- I'm, I'm headcanoning this as, like, they were sent from the future yep. to oh. go back and make sure y'all didn't fuck this up. Yep. <laughs> Somehow I feel responsible for this future. <laughs> uh, Wait! The Black uh, Bear! Uh, the black bear is going to like dissipate after a few minutes. That's fine. It's not going to die. It just goes okay. poof in a cloud of smoke. It does not hurt. Um, okay. So okay. as you guys fly oh. out of the tomb, the tomb itself collapses on each, on itself. And you sit in the sands, catching your breath. After- I'm immediately just going to gently walk over towards the hole where I left the sticks of dynamite and slowly push them into the hole. Yeah, I was just like, and... Eh. Like no evidence, no evidence. <laughs> Are you gonna at least light them first? No. <laughs> uh, as you guys, that's, are... that's when Micah literally just throws it. Literally lights the tinderbox. I don't care. <laughs> as you guys, I was, I was over. gonna say, I was as still you guys hanging on to something that, for that. Yeah, as you guys are <laughs> saying there, on a job well done. You, you know, you technically you have succeeded where everyone else has failed. You survived. You found out what happened to the archaeologists. Uh, you hear the roar of a dragon in the distance. I hate it here. <laughs> I hate it here. Absolutely. Oh, hate it. And after a few seconds, a crystal dragon lands in front of you, not saying a word. And then you hear something in the distance like, My lord, it's gone. You can now rule the desert. <laughs> As a little dust oh. muffet, a little dust muffet comes off his shoulder and in front of you and say, "Greetings, my master here is coming to take over the desert. Thank you for taking for getting rid of that old pesky undead thing." <laughs> so I have a quick question, Mister uh, or Miss Dragon. Are you married to the mummy's wife? <laughs> <laughs> and we end it there. <laughs> so it's uh, it's probably a real good thing that uh, I got out of there before the crystal dragon showed up, because yep. uh, I had two crystal rapiers, and yeah. they are made from the horn or spine of a crystal dragon. Yeah, they would not be happy about you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. No one died. Woo! I came close, so <laughs> you did I know someone's upset. <laughs> Somebody's upset about that. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, congratulations, oh. guys. That was oh fun. Awesome, Lord, chaos yeah. incarnate. That those are my one shots. They are definitely chaos incarnate. Uh-huh. That's awesome. But yeah, I'm absolutely okay so, with not dying today. <laughs> Oh, Today. Just, out of, just out of curiosity. Uh huh. Um, we're keeping our characters right. Do we get experience and level up from from this adventure? Sure. Are we going on another sure. adventure? Sure. Sure. If you if you if we do another one shot with these characters, they will be leveled up to level eleven. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> level fourteen. Oh, and Fox is level fourteen. We'll have to figure out for that character. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, was le- I was level 13. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh my goodness. And I got yeah. a free legendary item. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because... Yeah. Uh, all right, but yeah, that is going to do it for us. Okay, I, I used it for something boring. I took a studded leather plus three. Oh, I thought so. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was that, because like, like, when I saw the uh, the necklace uh, fireballs, like, that's not legendary. You just took that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I paid for that. Yeah, I paid for that. <laughs> I was just uh, imagining. I did roll. The end. It can have up. It's a one d six plus three charges, mm-hmm. and I rolled a six. 
Let's see. Who's wow. streaming right now? Uh, let's go right into Zillia because they're doing. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. They're doing mm -hmm. a charity stream right now, right? If I'm correctly? Yep. Cool. Or no. Uh, let's go. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah. So. Oh, I thought they were doing something for charity. We're going to raid into Zillia. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. That was super fun. I hope everyone had fun playing D&D. &D. That was a blast. Yes. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of fun. I can uh, thank you, Bulldog. Yeah, of course. Uh, I will you, be Foxy. back in like mm -hmm. a week or so since I'm moving. And I have to write down my computer Probably after this stream. two or three. Probably, depending on when they get my internet up at the new place. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> but yeah. I'll have a safe move. Yep. Everyone, thank you for joining in. Thank you for all the get the subs as well. Yeah. Thank you for the for the one shot. It was funny. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. That was chaos. <laughs> yes, it was. Alright. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>